defense is playing. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you realize. The running back was freaking a ha ha that. Look at it. Look how. Why? Look, look, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo, what are you doing? You're talking. You just got to make sure it focuses right Yeah, that's right. all. That's all. Uh, uh, Let's get to it. To <laughs> but welcome back. To welcome it. back. Welcome to back. another episode of your favorite and the best sports podcast in the world. <laughs> I love when you say that. That's why I pause because I just love when he says that. Um, <clears throat> make sure you guys stay tuned because today we got some things for y'all. All right. We're going to be talking about the whole Diddy situation. Yikes. We're going to be talking about the National Basketball Association in regards yeah. to 40,000 point scorers and Lakers. And we are going to be talking about some football situations and a couple of cheaters not named the Patriots. Mm. <laughs> if you are interested in any of these topics, make sure you guys not only like the video, but hit stick the, subs the subscribe button. Because if you didn't or don't, your uh, driver's license has the title Booty on top. Booty. I'm here accompanied with my two co-hosts. To the right, he's now in off-season, but the master <laughs> of the X's and O's. Yeah. Your boy, Coach EJ. Yeah. Clap it up, clap it up. Coach, how we feeling? I'm sad. <laughs> I'm sad, man. Was, I'm okay. sad the season is over. But um I felt that. Uh it was a hard fought season. Um I wanna give a big shout out to my girls, man. Um we had a lot of ups and downs. Full uh, base. <laughs> and um, you know. I, like I told, I know some of you girls watch, so when y'all see this, I know I didn't really get too animated after the game when I spoke to y'all, but I just want to reiterate something that I've been saying all all season long. No matter what has happened, I would go to war with y'all every day, twice on Sunday, no matter what. And um, I appreciate the ride that we had this season, and I can't wait to get back to work. I'm going to take a little vacation. Um, but when I get back, it's up. It's up. Anybody that go to war for you twice on the Lord's Day, yeah, it's a rest day too. My yeah, boy. yeah, day yeah. Twice. Um, to the left of me, you remember you're no longer baby pools. <laughs> That's so ass. <laughs> yeah. Mini Paul George. Can you speak to me in Spanish? So I can speak okay, pequeño Paul George. <laughs> it just sounds worse. Pequeño Paul George. <laughs> <laughs> and now. And now, little Michael Porter Jr. <laughs> yeah. with no jumper. Hey, that was the hey. I don't make the rules. EJ no, said that. That wasn't me. Did not say that. Nah, I nah. He did not say that. Nah, that wasn't me, that brother. Don't come at me not, about not, it. Nah, I don't want to. He said when I let it go, I shoot like him. Oh, okay. First of all, pause. Yeah. All right, Ooh. talk to me right. When I let it go, I shoot like. First him. First of all, I yeah, ain't like how you say that. You're. Sh Yo, <laughs> I ain't liking the tone that he said that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but your boy Eli, everybody, clap it up, clap it up for Eli. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And it's uh, listen, y'all already know it's your favorite dad. Uh, I'm wearing a different hat, so it's the multi hat wearing guy. Um, hey, those that be commenting, commentating, excuse me, about oh, I don't take you serious because you're a Yankee and a Patriots fan. <laughs> Listen, I'm not a Giants fan, all right? I just yeah. got the fitted, all right? Like I don't want, I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> hey, bro, I got, I got, I got crazy comments like nah, that. Facts. The homeboy was like, "Damn, you're Yo, a Patriots fan." First of all, y'all know damn well Ray is not the only person in New in the tri-state area that is not a Giant fan or is like yeah, that's misplaced. Right. Like, there's a whole bunch. I know yeah. a whole bunch of people, so cut Yo, it out. Yeah, I mean, cut it out. Hey. Is but, it Tyler a Pats fan? Yeah, Tyler's a Is Pats it? fan, yes. Yeah. I had a the, the guy that did comment that I actually had a nice little conversation with him. Cool guy. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Very cool guy. He actually, oh my gosh, I probably should bring it up. Uh he answered, we went back and forth in the comments, and he answered the whole draft question, like who he would have, who what sh the Bears should pick, what the commander should pick, and what the Patriots should pick. And I thought I thought it was really, really cool. I mean, I'll maybe share it later or something like that. I don't have it up right now, but hey, cool guy. He was, he was cool. It was just, uh -huh. and I don't want it to be directed uh, to him. And in the TikTok, oh, the TikTok comments. Oh, TikToks are gross. The TikTok comments. Gross. Yeah, yeah. They listen, buddy. They don't care, bro. Um, 
But we are going to get, I don't have a trivia for you. Well, technically we do, but it's not now. We're going to get right into it and congratulate LeBron James, mm-hmm. the Damn GOAT, good. or one of the GOATs, depending on who you speak to. Yep. In scoring or being the first NBA player to score a total of 40,000 points in his career. And climbing. Shout out. Yeah, and climbing. And climbing. Shout out to LeBron James in <laughs> greatness. Yeah. I don't even know how to explain all that. But um, nah. this this is also playoff points, right? Like, this is not just regular season? I believe so. It's just regular season. No, no, I believe it's Oh, it's everything. both. It's both. Okay. Um. Yeah, man. Just shout out to LeBron. How how we feel about this? I I just have one thing to say. Yeah, yeah. MJ is not better, bro. <laughs> MJ is not better. Chill. I'm rewatching. I'm rewatching the documentary. But the last dance. Yes. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> that was all a joke, by the way, about the whole MJ thing. This vi- this week, I don't know what got into me. I watched thousands of MJ videos. of MJ videos. <laughs> yeah. 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 MJ. The the. You know what? Let me not hijack your yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> so, I will say, you know, for all the haters that LeBron got, one thing that all y'all always said, he's not a scorer. My man has 40, 40 grand on your head. Nobody's ever, it's not going to be touched. Nah. For a guy who who's not a scorer, by the way. Score first. Score yeah. first, at least. Yeah. So, <laughs> if the guy is not not a score first player, and like, he leads like the league, and he leads the league in scoring, what does that make him? <clears throat> I'll tell you. A great defensive player. <laughs> Bad. Yo. Hey. Yo, shout out LeBron, bro. If KD got him in his top, in his, we're talking about KD. Yeah. In his top five all time scorers? All right, bro. Nah, it says a lot. It says a lot. And, and I don't want to hear the whole, no, but he played 21 years. So did KG. So did Vince Carter. So did, um, what's the boy from Dallas? Nowitzki, who was considered just a scorer, and they never got here. So, shout out to LeBron. Shout out to the James family. I know they're going through some things because he wanted to tweet something and then delete the tweet. Hey, Le- Yo, LeBron, if you're watching this, let me tell you something, bro. Hey, hey, I know you. I know you're considered an old man right now. Yo. Don't delete your tweet. Stand, stand on business. No facts. Stand on business, cuz. You heard? Yo, if chest. you post that tweet, let it rock, brother. Let it, let it marinate. And before you even post, yeah. <laughs> and before you even post the tweet, let your, let your son do. Yo, you contradicted yourself. You're like, oh, you gotta let Bronny play. That's cool. So let him play. Let him play. Don't post any tweets about it. Just let your boy rock. He'll be all right. Yo, listen, Bronny, for those that don't know, Bronny's averaging 5.8 points per game his first college season. You want to know what other NBA super slash all-star averaged 5.7 points a game his first college season? Who? Jimmy Butler. Mm. And look what Jimmy is in the NBA. Jimmy Butler. So. I didn't know that. Just let, yeah, and Marquette, Jimmy Butler, first year, 5.7 points per game. Wow. 1.6 assists. Uh, Bronny's averaging 2.8 assists or some shit like that. What are we worried about then? So, just let it play out. Yeah, let yeah, it play don't out. Don't jump the gun. Don't jump the gun. Yeah. Um, staying on the Lakers, Eli, talk to me, brother. Do we think the Lakers are turning the corner? Um, or are the Lakers just laking? I mean, I I looked at their month of uh, March, and we, we're really going to see what they're about. Who they have to play. In the month of March, will kind of solidify if they're gonna make a run or be out to playoff contention. What they, how they played against uh, the Nuggets, was impressive, um, but not impressive. I'm not impressed with the coach. We've we've talked about it off camera. Just just the subs were were horrific. I don't understand how you go ahead and shoot the ball 52% from the field and 40% from three, and you lose by 10. The subs in the first half where you sub out LeBron and you – I don't know who they subbed in. The offense didn't run the same. They were able to chip away at that lead. Halftime, it was close. And then third quarter, I don't know how you have LeBron James – 
Prince. Then you have uh, uh, Cam Reddish. Cam Reddish, and Hayes. then you have Hayes. I don't know, like who's running, who's running point. I don't know why you have LeBron running point when you've noticed on their little run, they've had D'Lo mm-hmm. and they've had Reeves take more of the of the point guard role. They got the ball in their hands. Reeves is making moves. You have D'Lo skyrocketing and shooting the ball, catch and shoot off ball, and dominating with the ball. Their numbers have went up. Now, LeBron off ball, we've seen that he could do it and it's worked. Why are we choosing on certain areas to now switch that? Against a Denver team who shows up against big teams and kills. No, because I want to add something. Because you mentioned something, and I just want to, like, mm-hmm. so I, I needed to pause there. Sorry. No, you can go. Michael. Oh, that, that man saw it, bro. Who? Oh. That guy. Eight, eight yeah. No, 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 no. It was, it, it's your boy that I'm trying to get to. Oh, LeBron? No, no, no. White white Mamba. Right. Reeves. Oh, what? So you, you mentioned, my bad. Are you finished with your point? Because I. Yeah, I, you were talking about the Reeves and D'Angelo Russell having more of a yeah, point like guard. You want... Yeah, they're, aver- they're averaging 20 in the month of February. You so they... point. I should run. For, I mean, with those two, I felt like I would do a better job. Mm-hmm. But they got who they got. Eli Porter they, Jr. You have no jumper, bro. So I would be doing a lot of passing, which I think they need. Um, but realistically, I'm like, yo, the the coach got to go. If anything, he needs to go in there. Who's <laughs> who's on? Um, because you mentioned this off camera. Who's their assistant? I don't know. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. I don't know if we. Uh, I don't even know. They, they is right just, there. Right there, but you can't really. You can't yeah, really it's tell. A little, it's a little fuzzy. It's a little fuzzy. Um, no, because I know the assistants play a, a huge role in like, like that one season, right? Because I think they won that season when they had kid and homeboy and um, the the old Pacers coach, uh, Frank Vogel. Frank Vogel, right? The, that's when you guys won it. When you guys had both. Yeah, at the home. Jay Kidd was there. I think Jake Kidd had left already. Or just left. Um. Well, it was kind of working with them too. Yeah. Now the qu- the question that I want to that I want to ask EJ, I know you want to uh, chime in a little bit, but I just want to ask real quick to Eli. <clears throat> you mentioned having Reeves run the point re- instead of whoever, mm-hmm. right? Do you think that's a strong suit for Reeves? I think so because he's he's more of a, an aggressor. Like he's he's obviously looking to score, but he's also a willing passer. Okay. I just feel like when LeBron's off ball, he's more – he's not that he's more dangerous. He's hes also still dangerous off the ball. When what? he's okay. – when he's – when the when he's coming downhill, go ahead. Off, this, this right here, are you considering this point guard energy or just he just knows how to run the pick and roll? I feel like if you're, if you're any hooper, you know off this pick and roll, you know what you're doing. Okay. I – he goes over the screen. He's still high. He, yeah. I think you make that pass ten out of ten. Yeah, that's that's a basketball play. I just think it's a in high school. I think whoever's seeing that that's just a high, even that pass. There was nothing there. He didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. He got two assists. Yeah. I just feel like when he's out there putting the ball in his hands and he's the aggressor. First of all, why is LeBron out here boxing with? At, hey. at that age. All I, right, we're not going to talk about LeBron. But I, look, Reeves with the ball, he makes a move to the post guy. Boom. Fuck I, it. That's three assists, what, but what I, did he I, really do? I, I get he I get He's I, just putting his t- in teams and positions to score. Right, That's it. Right. I'm not saying that, like, and D'Lo's the same way. Because D'Lo, we've seen, I don't know if you guys noticed, but just being able to shoot at the top of his release. And it's been a big thing about him being able to do, especially with LeBron having the ball at certain times of the game. I'm all right with LeBron Hey, there's there's a flow of runs. LeBron needs to stop their run. All right, I need the ball. Let me run point guard and go downhill. Mm-hmm. I'm fine with that. But we all know that LeBron can't do that for 48 minutes. Mm-hmm. He needs to coast offside, yeah. off ball. Let D'Lo do his thing uh, with the ball. Let Reeves do those couple plays. And then I'll pick a spot where I'll cut down the lane. And you've seen he, him do it a couple games ago where D'Lo gave him the ball. He went back door and he dunked it. He's still aggressive. I feel like LeBron has mature, matured big time being able to beat off ball and still dominate. Now, be, putting pick and roll situations, like I just feel like it's not them. When you go to shoot the way they shot and you're and you still lose by 10 at home, how, who's whose fault is that? 
I ain't gonna lie. That was a nice, that was a sweet little pass. It's just. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that was a sweet little pass right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie right now. But let's go back a little bit. You can keep talking. You can keep talking. Yo, I'm just Ray. saying, like I saw a lot of good things. Yo, this is Dave, this, this is a nefty pass right here. Hold up. E, nah, I, keep talking. My bad. No, my bad. I right just, here, right? I just saw up. a lot of a lot of good things. And wh- that's a that's a dime. That that's a dime. I'm making so, that pass eight eight out of ten times. A one hundred percent. The nine, I might do the behind. I'm sorry. The I'm sorry for your boys back at, at back at, at, at your workplace. <laughs> eight out of ten times they're dropping that ball. Unfortunately. Mm. But but no 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 aggression. That's baby work right there. Look at that. That's insane. Um But my point is that we gotta put some blame on someone. It's gotta be Darvin Ham. He's Eli he's, Porter Jr. That's the who we put in the blame on, brother. No. I no, I Oh Dan, that's a tough shot. I, I agree with you, bro. Like it's it's all about like what Look, what come on, the flow. Ball. Yeah. So like when when it's that lineup of Braun being the primary ball handler, the issue is is those other guys that are on the floor, like yes, they're good in their own right, but like in in this league, bro, it's it's about what are you doing right now? And Cam Reddish right now is not shooting the ball well. Prince right now is eh He's shooting the down. ball. He's just up and you down. know what I mean? So like now you guys are easy to guard. When you have Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, I'll throw Spence in there because he's a good playmaker. Yeah. Like, they're just going to get the ball moving so that there's some type of movement in the offense. You know what I'm saying? Which, now you're you're allowing LeBron to cut, it, you know, cut to the lane. They're allowing LeBron to, like, move. Like, look, look at the ball movement, bro. But that is when Reeves and D'Angelo Russell are in the game. The ball, the okay. movement of the ball is what I think has been That's helping the Lakers lately, which is, which has helped them with their run. But it's it's the substitutions, man. Like like I said, bro, it's like I feel like the Lakers right now are very very six man oriented. Like they have six players that yeah. you feel like, all right, if this was if the playoffs started tomorrow, these are the six guys we're rocking with. But when you get to seven, eight, nine. Yeah. That's where they're hurt. Like, the depth for them really, really hurts because, yo, LeBron's 39 years old, bro. No matter how great he's playing, he's going to need a breather. Yeah. Why, why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, um, <clears throat> my bad. I don't know if you were done. I yeah. just want to throw a joke in there. <laughs> I think both of you are right. Um, I think it, the blame does have to be put on Darvin Ham. There's not really much to say. The only reason I asked you that question, I was hoping it got to there, but I think it started happening in the third quarter. Maybe one might say, oh, no, it's Rui in the corner. There was three plays in a row that Reeves po- posts up at the at the corner three. They run their play. play uh, defense breaks down, d- dump it off to Reeves at the corner, and he made all three three-pointers. And I'm not... This is not me saying, because I, I do believe in what Eli's saying. Yes, Reeves, Reeves is good, you know, playmaking and stuff like that. But if we can, or just one of them, either D'Lo or Reeves, have them be that corner specialist, if D'Lo or, or Reeves, you know what I'm saying? Like vice versa, whoever is running the point or whatever the case may be, one of them is running the, the points, uh, excuse me, do, uh, being the corner specialist. LeBron's doing his own thing. Rui had a nice game yesterday. I watched his, I watched his game entirely. Um... I think that's a little aspect that a lot of people are probably not noticing in regards to Reeves' game. Um, but, yeah, man. Yeah. It's ham. Uh, we, we've been here multiple times this, yeah, this season yeah. in regards to your coaching and um, your substitutions. You got to figure it out. And or, and or someone um, – <clears throat> that was a bad pass. Yeah. Someone on the assistant coach bench – yeah. Speak, speak up. I don't care if he's the head coach, because if, if you can't speak against, quote unquote, your boss, then get off. Get off the team. Yeah. I, I need someone to be vocal. You know what I'm saying? Like, my, my bosses at my job, they hear it from me. <laughs> they hear it from me daily. Right, no, nah, I don't like so Right here. Boom. Got him. Swappies. Uh-huh. Right? It was back to back. Let's see if they, they do this, the next play. Uh, No, no, no. Again, look. Boom. Oh, they're running the zone. And now, now this is where your point comes in. Oh, he made two in a row. We got it. We got a crash on that. Mm, punk fake drive in layup. You know what I'm saying? Reeves, Reeves in that corner yesterday was had a field day. Yeah. Had a yeah no. Had you a field day. Figure it out though. Like it, it's. Yo, dog. Like who you want to play? Like coaching. Like where you're you're some of these sets. It's you're 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 running these sets. 
Yeah. Like, you just got to put your team in a position to score. Is this I, the bum shot? Yeah. This, yeah, this, he does this. this. He does this. He that, <laughs> This. That broke-ass, boo-boo-ass shot. Hey, bro, listen. Those that watch sports, those that play sports, we all know there's a point in time in the game where something happens and the whole game is turned upside down. Yeah. He made that, and I know the Lakers is like, well, here we go. Here we go again. Here we go. Western Conference off the, Finals. <laughs> off the right foot. Western Conference Finals all over again. You know what I'm saying? But, um. That drunk is, yo, that drunk is green bean every time. Green bean what? Applesauce. Yes, Sersky. Yeah. Hey, we're going to stay on the Nuggets and adding the Celtics to this conversation. It's been yeah. a very, very big topic throughout the week in all of the sports media. Just want to pick your brains and your butts. Um. Celtics Nuggets. Are we looking <laughs> EJ's face? Are we looking at the clear favorites in their respective conferences? That's a tough one. I mean, in the East, it's definitely the Celtics. Okay. Yeah. Um, a clear cut, yeah. Yeah, they're 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 good. And um the West is hard. Um I do have I do believe in Eli's point off camera. Um I do think come playoff time the Celtics will be the favorite in the West. I think they'll Nuggets. Nuggets, yeah. You said the Celtics. Yeah. Oh shit, my bad. Um, I think um the Nuggets will be the I mean, just watching yesterday, bro, like Joker Joker gives me Braun vibes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like I, I don't know. Like it's like, yo, are they ever really out of the game? Mm, yeah, it's tough. You know? <laughs> He's the unathletic version of Braun. Yeah. Like Yo, yeah. Because the the just the IQ, yo, the change. IQ, bro. No, bro, bro, and not just that. I mean, that that plays that plays into IQ. The way he makes the game look e- so easy. And yo, there was a list. play yesterday, and I knew exactly what he wanted to do, but I think it was Aaron Gordon that didn't cut the right way, or whatever the case may be, and ended up being a, a, no. I think it was a Watson, and ended up being a turnover, and he got back, man. He was pissed. He was like, mm-hmm. and then, yo, he looked at his coach. Who's their coach? Uh, this guy, Michael Malone. Yeah, uh, he looked at their coach, and he's like. And I'm like, yeah, I feel you. I feel yeah. you. It's like it, I think he, he got subbed out after that. He might have. I don't. I don't really remember yeah. at right after. But it's like, yo, he's playing two, three moves ahead of dudes, and he's just like, you gotta, you gotta be there. And Air, Air, like Gordon, he's so good at that, like being in the right yeah, spot. They, he's he a compliments. Slasher, he compliments like, Joker really well. Super good because they know they're gonna throw two at him. He's gonna rim run. Like they do such a good job. I think they have like those pieces right there are so good. And the thing with uh, Joker is. I'm gonna let y'all know right now that move is gonna kill you guys in the playoffs. What move? This right here. Hold on. Let let it get to Rui. Boom. Okay. Pump fake. I'm gonna drive in. Right. Boom. Boom. Nice little post work. Okay. 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 Let's stop right here. The entire rest of your team just stood there. Yeah. And I'm not. You know. Denver is Denver. It is what it is. But let's say you guys play a, a, a better defensive team and stop Rui here. Yeah. That can't happen. Yeah. Stuff like this can't happen. Rui just had a good move, made a good shot over a, a decent defender, and it just it is what it is. But that might kill you guys in the playoffs if, if that if that's a consistent thing. Sheesh. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's not. It's not something you ride or die on twenty four seven. Yeah, they're, I know they're not gonna run it like consistently, but if they do, if they if, like, if you got a low man against a high man, I yeah. I want Rui going. And if they start playing some defense where they're stopping everybody else, and you you guys are forced to do these kind of things, then which basically what what, what, what I'm sup- what I'm I'm I don't know if you saw, but it was early in the game. They you know how every, there's always mm. <laughs> you're definitely not Michael Porter Jr. Do you see this stat line on the bottom? Yeah, homeboy ain't Yo, miss. Ray, <laughs> shut up. Homeboy ain't miss. Hey, that for, is not every day. For bro. those viewing that and watching, that is not every my, day. Hey, my, <laughs> Michael Porter Jr. Nine minutes. You're right, Michael Porter Jr. No, no, no. But he's very official. I don't know if you first guys... of all. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, talk okay. to me. So, what happened when I pulled up? No, so no. Hey, what happened there? You're absolutely right. Miss. No, you you were Eli Porter Jr. That day. <laughs> you were definitely Eli no, Porter Jr. No, for like Jr. three weeks. There, I went on a stretch where I did not miss. Yeah, you're, you might be right, but... We were talking about air I'm quality. Bunch- air quality. That's how bad it was. I'm bunching all three weeks into one game. I don't want, I don't want to hear all that. <laughs> hey, for those listening and watching, Michael Porter Jr., nine minutes left into the game yesterday. Had 23 points, nine, nine for nine field goal. Five for five from the Treponte. Yo, my boy had the sliders <laughs> up. <laughs> Yo. All right. Um, Damn. What? Sorry. Back to the clear favorites. Celtics, Nuggets. Yeah, nah. Celtics Nuggets. 
Yo, I ain't gonna lie. God, sorry, that was tough. I'm talking about just point guards like Jamal Murray. You know, Jamal Murray, I know Devin sometimes plays the point when, when they have all three of them. Yeah. This is where you guys kind of get hurt a little bit. I mean, Reeves plays decent defense here. I'm not going to lie to you. He kind of gets beat right there on the turnaround. But Cam or LeBron have to go ahead and – that's a good shot, but have to pre-rotate before that. Because let's say he doesn't get that shot off, that's a lob to uh, Gordon. You just got you, – you, you just got to pre-rotate because if you don't, you're going to get beat. Yeah. Look. But see, like that's that. That's, that's what do you do about that? Nah, that's, that's just that's, I'm just that's bigger a, than that's you. off a rebound. Like you know, just get a man, and he got a man. Like you got, he had two people, but they were nowhere in sight. Oh, lay me um, yeah, right. Um. Yeah. Like in again, the, why in do the we West, have Reeves. There's there's no reason for it. Yeah. In the West, well, I I think right here. Um, I think AD. It's AD's fault twice here. Like mm-hmm. he he didn't notice that and switch, and he was playing off ball defense on the on the dominant hand and didn't try to like poke it or anything. He kind of just stayed put. But I think yeah. he's defending Jamal, so he I understand. Can't, can't yeah, really yeah. Help. I kind of understand that. But, but I, I'm I'm with well, you guys kind of said it off camera. You guys mm-hmm. didn't say it on camera. Nuggets in the West. I am going to believe that they are the clear cut favorite as of now because Eli off camera mentioned they're kind of just cruising. They're kind of just like allowing things to play play out, and then come playoff time, be like, hey, we're here, yeah, right? I, and in the past couple of weeks, I, their probably win-loss record doesn't really show it that well, but in the past couple of weeks, Minnesota and OKC have have been losing games that I'm not saying they're supposed to win, but I'm viewing that for playoff time. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. paying attention to that come playoff time. Yeah. Um, so I, I do think the Celtics and Nuggets are clear. Yeah, 100%. Favorites. To come out of the yeah. respective conferences. As champions, I don't think I'm there yet. I need to see more. Yeah. I, and then come playoff time, I need to re- yeah. analyze a little bit more. I do think they're the favorites, the Nuggets. But I will say, I don't see a team in the East, really. Especially if Joel Embiid is not back healthy. I don't see a team in the East that matches up well against Boston. I think Boston. Or, like, but he- I do see... Teams in the West that can match up against Denver. Because here, here's how I look at it. Here's my coaching mind. Just like, let's say if I was the coach for the Timberwolves, I know I have two seven foot centers in Cat and Rudy Gobert. Right? So they're not going to stop Joker, but you can bother him. And then you have one that's going to guard Aaron Gordon. So now you eliminate a lob, the lob threat. You eliminate that now. Take him out. Then you have Anthony Edwards, who will probably match up against Jamal Murray. You know, because in the playoff times, it does come down to matchups. For sure. And answer dog. And coaching. And answer dog. And coaching. So, you know what I mean? I think, you know, the Timberwolves, have a, they match up pretty well. I think the Thunder match up pretty well because you have athletic young guys that are, they may not be able to stop, but you can bother. You know, and that is really what you need. In in the terms of that Laker game that we saw yesterday, like you saw where the weaknesses were. If it wasn't Rui Hachimura, whenever they got, they were able to get a switch with Cam Reddish, Austin Reeves, yeah. um, whoever it was, with Joker on them, it's problems. Yeah. It just so many problems arise from that, and I think. That's I mean, where my head is at as far as, like... I think it, when it comes to that, it's got to be a little coaching. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, see, yeah. I see Darvin Ham. You went ahead, all right, we're going to throw a body. Just, you threw anybody at, at Joker. Then AD's going to come off and help. Cool. But what has to happen off that help needs to then, you knowing you're going to help the yeah. help, you got to then take it further. And then I'm, I'm going to break it down. You go help. Where's Gordon? Because yeah. guess what? He's going to come if AD's going to come in and help. Whoever's on that weak side, either it's LeBron, either it's Cam or Rui, you then have to slide over before the double comes. Yeah. That's just, that just no, that's just knowing on a defensive end what you need to do so you eliminate that lob threat. You then have the double, and you then have to swing it back outside who someone is already guarded in Reeves or D'Lo. Mm-hmm. And then you take away the ball from their best player. Now, can they do that 
every time for 48 minutes, that's going to be hard. But you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to, all right, before I send AD, I need to make sure that Gordon is covered, to make it simple, Gordon is covered before I send help. Yep. Because if you do that, then you you have a chance to win. And they did not do that yesterday. Right. You it, saw how many lobs when that help well, person didn't slide they, over. They, they did it in the first half. Can they do it for 48 minutes? Right. That is the thing. And that is where I say that's coaching. You got to be able to get your players to to follow the game plan for forty eight minutes of a game, right. not buy in, not thirty two minutes of a game, because that's you're gonna get beat. You're gonna get time. beat. I'm with you. Um, I also think, <clears throat> excuse me, this is not just for the Lakers. I know we're using the Lakers because yes, uh, yeah. yesterday last year's conference final was a very very good blueprint into, you know, probably playing against the Nuggets. Uh, this is to anybody that goes up against the Nuggets. Coaching as well as your top players, i.e. dudes like LeBron James and AD, you also have to game plan or realize um, for someone to win a seven-game series, your stars got to win two to three of those games, right? Now, what I mean by that is last year, game one, we can all agree that Aaron Gordon won that game for Denver. Yes. Right? Yes. If you want to win that series, that 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 can't happen. Yeah. Right? And I think it was game three or something that uh was it Watson or, or Brown? Brown. Brown? It was Brown. Two. Brown kind of, it was Brown's game. That well, can't Porter happen. Porter was three, like Yeah, no, right. That's the yeah. So if you stop the the Browns, the Porters, the the Gordon and and ha- and tell uh what's what's these guys' name? Murray and Joker to be like, you guys are gonna have to win the four games, you have a good chance. Yeah. You have a good chance. Well, when they're inconsistent, those guys are not nine for nine, five for five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got to think about it. Their their seven, eight, nine is also not the greatest. No, their, their depth chart is not no, but, not as lethal as it no, was last year. No, but the difference is the difference is is coaching. Correct. It's, it's their systems and how he plays and how Malone throws in the seven, eight, nine. Yes, exactly. As well as you know who's another coach that might. I'm sorry because I know we no go ahead. Yeah. No, no, it's good, another though. coach that's gonna hurt in the playoffs. Um, Thibodeau, having your players play 40 minutes yeah, a game, bro. you're going to run into some issues, Yo, brother. bro. He does but this run has been, into some that's issues. been his MO forever. He's a great coach, but bro, but bro you he lose your yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. You're running your, your boys to the ground. Yeah. I heard practices are and then, and then, like, and then you wonder why your players are yeah. hurt. You, if you go up against, te- I know we're talking about them. Go against the Celtics, who it might not be the deepest bench, but it's a pretty decent bench. You're going to have some issues, brother, yeah, if your boy Josh Hart is playing 40 minutes. Josh oh. Hart the other day had 50 seconds in total on the bench. 50 seconds. That's crazy. That is gross. And they had a good game, or, and, and so did John. Josh had a good game. I think he had like 16 rebounds. Yeah, yeah. Josh had a great game. But come playoff time, yeah. where you're playing back to backs, then travel across country or whatever the case may be, you can't be doing that, right? Nah. So that kind of plays a role with the whole coaching thing. Sorry, I had to, I had to like. No, no, no. I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, because it's gonna be important. Very. Come playoff time, that that, and that's why it's it's always said every year. Playoff is a different beast because now those little attributes, those little um, assets that happen, that, excuse me, that do not happen th- throughout the regular season, now come playoff, it's like hyphened. Yeah. It's, it's, it's highlighted. Yep. Oh, snap. You, you, you bring in your six man, six minutes, six minutes uh-huh. and 30 seconds in. Oh, I know how to game plan that out. Yep. You know, those little knickknacks that happen throughout the game during the regular season, no one really cares. Now come playoff time, guess what? Now I know what you're doing. Whole, whole, wholeheartedly. And I'm about to crack you up. It's, it's true. That's a fact. You oh, know? God. So, yeah, I'm with you. Sorry, I'm with you. I know we're saying a whole bunch of shit, but oh, I'm with you guys. Uh, I agree with both of you very, very much. Um, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to we it. We can all agree Celtics Nuggets are probably the clear, yes. clear mm-hmm. favorites. Mm-hmm. Regular season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Eli, you brought to me. I didn't hear nothing about this. I don't know what's going on yeah, here. Yo, I did. Something about CP3 to the Heat back in 2011. And and the reason why he didn't go was stupid. Stupid. Okay, so break, break this down for me because I – I didn't even so go it to... was it was it was I don't know if it was D Wade's podcast, but it, they were on a podcast. Oh, I think it was, yes. It was D Wade's. I remember I didn't watch it, but I remember that they were on D Wade's yeah, podcast. Yeah, and they're he D Wade's like, hey, you want you you remember that time right, back all, in the day? Let's pause here. I'm I didn't pay attention to this. I didn't know North Carolina was down ten. 
yeah, and they yeah. come back to win this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that All guy's right, go. a beast. Yeah, um, but he's gonna have some issues with uh, yeah, yeah, with UConn. Uh huh. But um, he, he they go ahead. Hey, you remember back in the day when, when you you were supposed to, come be Heat, and I had to rewind it because I yeah that's tough. I couldn't believe it. I'm like, <laughs> My CP3 said, said what? <laughs> to the Heat, 2011. When Golly. LeBron went? This was the year that they lost to Dallas, Dallas right? Correct. They don't lose that series if he's there. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Let me tune in. You know what they do. You know, yeah, you I know remember Sopatra in 2011. Do you remember that, man? Do y'all do you, remember Sopatra in 2011? Do you remember the chocolate man? Yo. 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 I'm just saying. Over. Over. <laughs> The number three. He didn't go to Miami because he was like, wait, we both have the same number. I'm not going because I want three. I want to keep the number three. All right, so hear me out. I already know what he's going to say. I already know. know. I already know. I actually actually disagree with both of you. They, They do not win this finals with CP3. And and just even that little notion right there kind of tells me everything. Like you're that immature over a number that Bro, you don't want to join the I team. I couldn't believe it. And then on t- now, let me ask, before I get into it, let me ask you this question: This is if he joins, Mario Chalmers is not playing. Correct. No, no, I don't think so. Because this this is my thing. First of all, we can't just because he joins the Heat and he's playing now with D Wade and LeBron, we can't just throw away CP3's abysmal performances in in the in the playoffs. No, oh, yeah, I get that. Right? Two, we not only us, everyone for years have said it. The issue wasn't Chalmers. No. The issue was LeBron. Yeah, in 2011. And as far as I see it, the way Chalmers played that year, I'm not saying they're the exact same player. That's not what I'm saying here. But it's eye for an eye. You think so? 11, mm. 2011? Chalmers played a pretty good season that year. Uh, hey, but I think season. I think CP3 was was elite. That I, year. I, I think I, well, I think and, it's... and on top of that, we've seen how many CP3 had a had his own super team and does nothing with them. Yeah. Now I know the uh, what do you call this? The no, roster. No, they weren't a super team. Is... That was that was built. Which one? The Griffin and no, no. But I okay. Sorry, no, no. I don't mean it that way. I mean it like the, it's, uh, it's, oh, it's CP3, well, yeah, Blake yeah, Griffin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I, no, I didn't mean it like that. Sorry. I meant like they had a team yeah, that yeah. was supposed to win at least one championship. At least one. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I and he had it multiple times. That year that Houston lost to Golden State, Houston should have won that. And that's win the fact. championship. That's a fact. Well, and that, win that, the that, championship. That wasn't due to him. It's due to him because he got hurt. But James Harden can't win one game by himself. No, 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 no. You are absolutely right. But look how you just said James Harden didn't win that game. LeBron was the issue against Dallas. Yes. So if LeBron doesn't show up, I'm not putting my chips well, on CP3 when he was. I get, I, they I were up 2 1. They were up 2 1 going against two, Dallas. 2 1? I thought it was 3 1. Wasn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. That would be. We're, we're talking that series. My two, bad, my one, bad, my two, bad. One. Like, two, yeah, when Miami, they were up 2 1. I don't. We, it's all hypothetical. No, no, they're yeah, up 2 1. You would think CP3, the way he played that year, you would think they would have won. What was the game that LeBron had six? Game two. I think it was no, like game two. No, was it game? No, because they were up 2-1. That's weird. Oh, you're right. Unless it was game two where they lost and he had six. And then it came back and I don't know. Well. I don't think they lose if they go up 2-1 like they did CP3. with CP3. I agree with you in there. But I also get what Ray's saying. The issue wasn't anybody else but LeBron in that series. I, I do agree. You know, and would would he have made a difference? Maybe, but... Because you have D-Wade. Because you have D-Wade. So, like, obviously we're hypothetically thinking that D-Wade and CP3, Chris Bosh, would have been enough yeah. regardless of how LeBron played. Mm-hmm. Correct. But... We got to remember, at that time, it was still LeBron. And they still have Bosch? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, bro. That's tough. I don't Like, having, having him, like, if and we go back and look at CP3 2011, you're going to be like, hey, yo, bro. Yeah, but, Eli, how many times did we talk about that series? And, you know. if we, It all comes down to LeBron, 100%. 
Yeah. I'm just saying we talk about players needing to win a series, yeah. how many games they need to win. Two or three. If CP3 would have won one more game, not just him, but obviously Bosch and them, mm -hmm. they win one, it's a different series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Instead of being 2-1, it's maybe 3-1. Instead of it 2-2, uh, two -two, it's 3-2. They got to win one. Mm -hmm. He just needs to win one more. Like it's the the C, the the series gets smaller if CP3 can win you one or two games and LeBron has already won one or two now it's all right they they won the chip yeah we just don't know how many games CP3 would have won if LeBron played the way he played yeah we don't know yeah 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 I mean and record shows that besides what he did with Houston you was, don't know if he would have played it was game four so after the whole two one. Game four, LeBron scores eight points. Game four? Game four. Game four. Yeah. Okay, but hold up. <laughs> I mean, I, I get it. The Heat lost by three that game. Game four, he lost 86-83. LeBron, but look at LeBron's stat line. This is why. Cool, he scores eight points. He still had nine rebounds and seven assists. Yeah. So he's still, he still affecting the game. Now. How many shots did he take? Uh, I gotta, I gotta get into, I gotta get into the specifics. Mm -hmm. It's just giving me that. All right. Um, Bosch scored twenty four. Dwight, uh, uh, Wade scores thirty two. So a game like this, um, a game like this might defend actually your yeah, point yeah, where Eli's Chris point. might help because yeah. Chalmers only has five points. But again, Chalmers has four rebounds, six assists. Which a player like Chalmers, that's kind of all I'm asking yeah. for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I can't, I can't get into it. Okay, I mean it's tough. It's a hypothetical that would we have loved to see it? Yes. Yeah. Do they win? You don't I don't know. know, bro. I just remember Dirk going for blood. <laughs> bro, <laughs> I know, I know. I bring it up. I know, I know, I know. I love him, bro. Dirk I was going for him. blood. See, and that's I the other love thing. Him. Okay, so game four. This is the other thing, right? Because. <laughs> We can agree that CP3 is not probably the most be the, the best defensive player. No. No. Jason Terry scored 17 that game. Yeah. Corner trees. Sean yeah, Marion Sean Marion had 16 that game. What is they yeah. hooped? Tyson Chandler had 13 that game. Damn, also they was hooping. So the Sean Stevenson 11. They and from hooping. a player like this, I'm taking the 11. Yeah. Keep yeah, 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 yeah. No. 100%. So how much did Dirk have? Dirk had 21. But Dirk had 11 rebounds, one assist, which I'm not looking for Dirk to assist. Yeah. But 11 rebounds. Chandler has yeah, 16 rebounds. Yeah, but it's rebounds. not. But my, thing is, my thing is, when it came to Dirk, when you look at his playoff run, because no one wants to talk about who he beat, but who he beat. Oh, no, that was a Kobe crazy beat run. Brian. That was a crazy run. Oh, no, that was, they that beat was, the Spurs, too, right? And that was a New York Giant Kale. playoff run. Kale. That was a Giants playoff run. Kale. Yes, yeah, nah, 100%. Facts, facts, That's what they, facts, they, went, facts. they ran through the gauntlet. Yeah, they now, ran through the gauntlet. Now, uh, let's, not, let's not downgrade. Listen, he had the battle of the year. I think they had a battle. The Paul George Pacers, yeah, yeah, which yeah. were like number one or number uh -huh. two on defense or whatever the case may be. You know, they had – oh, uh, that was – I think that was a season or whatever. But they had LeBron had to uh, play the Celtics. 100%. And that was still Paul Pierce – KG, Kevin, KG, yeah, KG, KG, Rondo, uh, Ray Allen, so, them boys. It's not like they w ran through, you know. It wasn't scrubs. like it wasn't tough on end. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah. It's just that Dallas was just on a mission. And they, I'm telling you, any any bucket that you needed, Dirk was like, "Come here, just give me the cheese, give me the work." And he went mano y mano, and every tough bucket late, he got. Um. Yeah, I. I that was a good. That was a good yeah, yeah. back and forth. Because I, 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 I think, I think you can answer either way. Like I think we, uh, you had good points in your, and your both of you mm -hmm. had good points in your like reasoning, and then I had mm -hmm. good points in my. Yeah, reasoning. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, EJ. Yes. You got a go. question for us? Yeah. So it's it's actually like a a two question thing. Okay. Two part. Yeah. All right. So yeah. since LeBron yeah. scored his forty thousand yesterday, you know, I was I was watching a video on YouTube. And they were talking about what is LeBron's best asset as a player? Is it IQ or is it his athleticism, which has allowed him to play as long as he has? Exactly. And it, it got me to thinking, because we talk about it all the time, would you rather be super athletic or be intensely skilled and have a high... So, so that's the two questions. The two question is, what's LeBron's favorite attribute, and what would we pick? No, no, no. That, no, oh. the other question I didn't ask. Yet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. 
Um, I think oh. What do you think is LeBron's best attribute? I think all right. This is best it's attribute. Tough. I think is it, it's your it's his athleticism. It's his athleticism. The, the, now the the reason why LeBron is LeBron is a lot of people that have crazy athleticism they're not really quote unquote born with the IQ or they got to work for it. LeBron came up with both. LeBron was like, yo, I could jump out the gym, but I know the X's and O's, motherfucker, so play me. Mm -hmm. Right? But the way this is the way I see it. IQ wins a lot of games. I'm not. <laughs> we know this. Yeah. We know this. But guess what, bro? It helps if you can fucking jump 40, 40 inches off the ground. And in his, in his life, it's the reason why he's 40 still playing the way he is. No offense to Kobe and them. Yeah. Kobe started breaking down pretty early. MJ had to had to retire twice, mm -hmm. you know. So, I I'm not downgrading his IQ. We all know his IQ is <laughs> the cream of the crop. But that athleticism, what what God said, yo, take this, hey, amen. Yeah, he gave him both. He gave him yeah the the best body of work with then the best mind. IQ mind. Yeah, which no one like he said has both at that capacity so it's hard to take one away and be like yeah you know who LeBron. i can agree with that maybe offensively offensively your boy bro i think Kyrie. oh yeah he's another one Kyrie's kind of you know like athleticism he's kind of gifted a little bit but yeah. that iq offensively yeah, that offensive. iq is different yeah, yeah. That iq is a little yeah. different yeah i mean they they were they were it was a heated conversation i don't remember it just popped up on youtube and i started watching it and it was pretty heated. And they were saying that, you know, the athleticism is what, like, kind of, like. It gets you there. It got him there. What put him over the top was the IQ. Was the X's and O's. Yeah. And because they were bringing up, like, if you look back, like, to his, like, like in the beginning, his beginning um, yeah. stint with um, Cleveland, he was just. Athletically, he was better than everybody. It was like Twelve dunks per game. Yo, brother. you couldn't catch up to him. He was yeah, too yeah, fast. Yeah. You couldn't get in front of him because he was too strong. He was jumping over you. Yeah. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. They were saying how like you could see the shift like from because it was those years in Miami. I think that was when he was like it was D Wade. It was that shift. Like Wade taught him how to win. It was like yeah. It was like. Yo, you're the best athlete in the world, but now we need to strengthen your mind. And Chalmers. Yeah. That one game. Chalmers, you know, Chalmers yo, he got crazy. on. He crazy. Like, no, but, yo, but shout out to Chalmers. I, 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 I appreciate that. I had, to, I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, I appreciate that. Player. Ty Lue did it too. In a, in a, I oh. need it. You got to <laughs> so, hey, hey. go at him to get if the Chris best. Paul was there. He would have said something. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, see CP would have said something. All right. Yeah, because he'd be uh, digging on yeah, every, yeah. Oh, every one of them. He don't the, care. Hey, CP, I'm not trying to disrespect you. It's just I just I just see CP3 as a little petty. He is he petty. Is. CP3 he will do is. that. He oh, is. CP3 what? will do that. A little that. petty. CP3 nah. will do the whole. Nah, remember the whole. was like, yo, yo, stop being a bitch. Yo, remember the whole. CP3 will do some shit like, man, if niggas stop being a bitch. Nah, nah, yo, that's, exact, <laughs> that's exactly how he would have said it. CP3 would have said it. exactly would have said it. He was like, yo. The problem would have been like, hey, yo, what you say? What you say? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly how you would have been, bro. Nah, but, you know, I thought they brought up some really good points. They brought up, like, you know, and then they brought up the 2018 LeBron, where it was, like, I feel 2018, peak, it was peak athleticism. That was the question that we asked. At the yeah, game. yeah, yeah. Peak, um, like, mental, like, IQ, like, yo, I ain't going front. J.R. Smith. You may have ruined. The, you may have ruined the best run. The best run, yo. Because if y'all win that game, God knows what happens. God knows what happens, bro. God did. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I thought that was a good question. Um, my other one. Um, I thought about this um a couple days ago. You know how like they said like Tom Brady like because of his greatness he hindered a lot of other quarterbacks' greatness. Because he kept winning. He didn't allow other QBs to win. So I wanted to ask, if there was no LeBron James, who is LeBron? If that makes sense. Kevin Durant. Yeah. 
Uh, no, oh, actually, no. Well, it was too. Nah, that's uh, tough. That's tough. No, because the I, thing I is, like that one, but I you was know what it is? It's like arrows, though. Hey, I was gonna say Paul George. Oh wait, we're just talking about the East. No, we can talk about no. We can talk general, about the whole general. classic because, like, well, let's be honest. Like LeBron in the like when he got there, he only won four times. I say what he can... did of what he did in the East and stopping no one from going. Who was really like that? And I, for me, was, well, I'm, I'm thinking it's Paul George. There was two in the East. See, that's the thing. It's there's a lot of there's a lot of errors in play. If we're strictly talking East, um. Hey, man, yo, it was seven years straight that the Raptors couldn't get over that hump, bro. Yo, facts. The Rosen was out here cooking niggas, but the moment LeBron James was across from him, it was like, LeBronto, come on, baby. Right? Um, I do agree with Paul George. Paul George is definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Um, now, if we go into... Derrick the- Rose? Yeah, man. No, I, it's tough. I My issue with Derrick... It's like yes or no. Yeah, he does Tip- get hurt. Tip- early. would have still ran that team through the ground, to the ground, yeah. and no disrespect, because this guy's no petty player. Joaquin Noah doesn't have it in him to win a chip. <laughs> Dom, I um, I I think I agree with, with with what you first said, Ray. I do think it's KD. I think I think it's KD, but again, this is error because what unfortunately for KD, once three zero came in Golden State, true. And then there was that two, three year run where Giannis was kind of like, "Oh shit!" Oh my beer. Yeah, right. So mm. it's tough because, like, like I don't, I don't think uh, LeBron stopped, you know, Milwaukee from getting there. Yeah, because at that time, well, you know, by that time, it was, right? you know, so Giannis hasn't really been stopped by anybody besides Miami and, besides and the Celtics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> literally. Besides themselves. So. I for me the only the one was. if there's no LeBron, you would say DeRozan because he's been stopped by him or Paul George. Now LeBron only beat KD once when he when he first got there with that young Bulls. Maybe KD is the right answer because if that's no LeBron, KD would have that chip. KD right. would have that chip, and now that, that means that team doesn't break up. Because who yes. the Lakers? Oh, the Pacers, right? Who the Lakers be in the Eastern Conference Final that year? The Pacers? Was it the Pacers? Probably. You mean who did the Heat beat? There's a minute uh, left, by the way. Just letting you know. Yep. I'll, I'll look that up. You can continue. With but this point. then that means that they go ahead and win, right? They keep Westbrook. They keep James Harden. They keep that. And what happens if they win that one? They, yeah, stay, they together. stay together. How many could have they won? Yeah. You don't know if they go probably. back to back and they run it. It was the Celtics. And imagine if Kevin Durant beat the Celtics. Yo, exactly. In the, in the it finals. Cha- it changes the storyline. Yo, What mul- will we say about Kevin Durant? NBA multiverse. I just created an NBA multiverse Jeez, question. my boy. Yo, Marvel. That is a tough Throw one. Throw me a check. We could, we could make some money. That's a tough one. Yeah, I... That, I, I think you the, might be right, bro. The first one that comes to mind is... Uh, or... Or, Ste- obviously, Steph, if... Um, he I guess posi- he doesn't know. Positionally, we can also probably say Melo. Melo in those Knicks years, they were going kind of crazy. But we're talking about LeBron. No, no, I'm, I'm with you, man. I, and I love Melo. And I love Melo. I mean, you, nah, he he's did. with you, but I get it. I get I'm it. You. I'm just saying. I get it. I get now, it. Melo, Melo, the thing is, before he even got to the Knicks, Melo had to deal with Kobe. Right. Yeah. So And then right. he dealt with LeBron. So that's kind and of And then chips. he lost to LeBron twice in the playoffs. That's kind of chips. Yeah, you know what? For he, he, <laughs> Melo, my bad boy. Yeah, And I love Melo. Move, move, I move love him. I love him. I, I do think Dizzle, though, KD, is the one. Yeah, they just... That, change, that changes so much everything. There's just so much stock in there. That That's a big what if. Yeah, I'm a, his What player, if? You know what? The NBA series. Hey, Jeez. hey, sh- come on, come on. Maybe we can do this on our own. Come on, sh- <laughs> Scratch that. Um, yeah. Wow, that was actually really good. I, I, I'm sticking with it, though. I think it's KD. Yeah, I, 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 I changed my mind. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. Um, all right. We're going to get a little a little sticky. Oh, oh, it's... A little sticky. So, <laughs> as we all know, <laughs> oh, man. Diddy has been the topic of, this, of discussion. Right? <laughs> Hold on. Before you get started, this, this was... This was the guy that I saw. I was I was a young freshman, and I'm like, "Yo, this guy is God." That was the one. 
that St. Patrick's jersey? Oh, Yo. I was like this. I was on the bench. I was like this. Yikes. Yikes. I wasn't playing, but I was there. Yikes. St. Benedict's like, God. Hey, yo, good luck. I watched them. I watched them play, and uh, when they played in the Presidential Center, it was that like tight ass gym. Some uh, it was like some tournament they had. It was like all the best New Jersey teams against like teams around the country, mm-hmm. and they play. I, I, if I'm correct, St. Patrick's played White House mm-hmm. in like Kentucky. Jeez, dog. I I forgot who. I no. I think no. I bought my own tickets. I bought my own tickets, and we were sitting like two, three rows behind St. Patrick's bench, and. That, that dude was yo. Where I'm sitting, Kyrie was where the cameras at, and he was just there. He was warming up, scratching, and I and I was like, "Yo, Kyrie!" And he looked at me, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I was geeking. Yo, what he did in that game, brother? And that was before we even knew that he was going to Duke. Damn. That was before that. Like we we still didn't know by then. I don't I don't think it, or if he did know, it wasn't out in the public yet. Yeah. But no one knew. No one knew. I, I literally only put this video for y'all. It's mostly for EJ. Cause we got to see this guy right now. Yo. Nah, see. Bro, he was oh. on Montclair, what, a couple years back? Yo. Um, going for blood. Sorry. No, I, you're good. What? <laughs> how do we feel about this Diddy situation? Uh, and in conglomerate with that, the whole Meek Mill thing that's been going on with Diddy. I don't know if you guys heard about that. <laughs> right? Yo, and let me tell you, the memes is going crazy. Do you guys remember the one meme? There was like a meme of, of Meek Mill talking. It was like, yo, Gotti, uh, 21 Savage. I think it was during the Rock Nation brunch. And you you see Meek kind of talking. And everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> right? I, I got it. I'll put it up on the screen for those for those that don't know what I'm talking about. They know what I'm talking about. And people were putting memes like, <laughs> the caption said, y'all had to fuck Diddy too, right? Damn. <laughs> Bro, when I tell you I lost it this week. Man. No, this week. Yo, hold up. Cause I got I got stuff saved about this. Cause I wanted I wanted to talk to y'all about this. Cause this is really outrageous. <laughs> outrageous. Nah, it's in. Oh, oh man, and and Meek's just been catching heat. Like yo, no one. Yo, cause the thing is, one of my boys from work, he told me something, and it makes sense. It does make sense. Meek is kind of like the hood Jay Z. Mm-hmm. Like for the hood, that's their Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I'm not saying Jay Z's not, but yeah, I get what you mean. You know, it's so down. The hood is like, man, we 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 ain't backing that nigga. Fuck that. So nigga. here's my here's my issue with it. First of all, I have a couple issues with this whole situation. Diddy, you are foul. You you are foul, brother. I see why Cassie was trying to. Yo, you are Diddy foul. It, you know. The fact you try to change your name to love and you out here doing this is is beyond me. Craziness. Foul, foul, foul. That's number one. Number two, Meek, bro. The problem with this whole situation is, is like, you, I, it's either you've realized there's nothing you can say to get your name out of this light right now. Yeah, no, it's pretty much over. Or it's true and you tight. That it came out because you are you are acting like a guilty a, a, like if somebody was on trial you're acting guilty about it you going at everybody but the source you're you're cursing out academics you getting mad at the media but you have not addressed the issue at hand was you bending over for that man that's the question <laughs> Yo, that's and that's and that's it. If you would have came out and been like, "Nah, yo, don't play, don't play with my name like that. That's foul." Da, da, da. Cool. You ain't say one word about it. So that leads me to believe, yo, love was giving you the love. Pause. Love always wins. <laughs> <laughs> love always wins, brother. You know what I'm saying? Love nah, fuck love, by the way. All. Fuck hey, love in all yo, aspect of love. Fuck it. God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, that went quick. But you feel me? And yo, P. Diddy, you are foul, bro. <laughs> you are foul. Yeah. What the P stand for? I'm gonna push him, P. <laughs> yeah, I could go on. I got yo, I got <laughs> I got I got I got jokes for days, brother, on this one. Yo. Listen. Yo, listen, there's a reason why. You know the billionaires, they they billionaire together. <laughs> now it makes sense why Jay-Z's like, yo, dog, you can't. <laughs> yo, 
Does it not make sense, though? It, like, yo, it lets us get a glimpse into what, why they move the way they move, bro. Fam, because it's like, bro, I know there was that one picture they had to, I think it was Jay, Dre, and Diddy, and I think Kanye, too. I know there was, oh, no, I think it was, uh, what's the dude, uh, DJ Khaled. Mm. I know he's not a billionaire, but DJ Khaled, he might be on his way there. I know there was that one picture, but other than that, we never see these dudes associate with each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, now, that's a very New York thing. Like, New York niggas, they don't like to win together. Like, yeah. It's, that's like, that's just a New York thing. Yeah. So, excuse me, that, that kind of makes sense. But, <laughs> this is crazy, man. This is, yeah. You gotta Leave it. No, buddy. Yeah. No. Do, you, do you love love? Yo, first of all, there's, a, there's that video of Meek in the pool. With the fries? <laughs> no, that, I saw that one too. But there's one. He's like, like he's like, he got his arms at the edge. Oh, and P Diddy's recording him. Yeah. He's like, what? What was he saying? Calling him daddy? He out there just like, mm hmm. Yeah. And he looking like his butt hurt. Hey. <laughs> That's what he looking like in the in the, in the pool. He out there just kicking his legs. Yo. Like he can't move. This is a disaster, bro. <laughs> this is a disaster. Yo, Diddy. And he definitely knew, this bro. Because this was going on for months. It yeah. was the whole, what, what was it? The rape or the, the sexual harassment thing going on? I forgot what it was, right? Like, uh, wasn't he going through some sexual uh, harassment? Facts. It, 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 yo, for he Diddy, does. bro. And it's... then, I think what really killed it is, like, um, you, you know, everybody likes to follow suit. Everybody likes to follow suit, right? So I think what happened was, when the whole sexual harassment thing, it was just like the one girl. I don't know if you realize, oh, every, but like a couple weeks later, everyone hopped on that came train. Up. Yeah, because a bunch, yeah, a bunch of other people were like, "Oh, me too, me too, me too." But then a dude came up, and we were all like, "What? Huh? Huh?" <laughs> I think at that point, huh? <laughs> yeah, he had to he had to leave a uh, uh, bad boy entertain or whatever he's in charge of over there. No, no, you a bad boy. Oh, <laughs> now you a bad boy. You're a bad boy. Yeah. Oh, pay Mace. Go pay Mace. Yo. All right, man? You freak ass. Facts. Go pay Mace's money. Yo, facts. Fucking freak ass. Get Look what here. you did. Look what you're doing. Yeah, you're, 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 you're playing with, with niggas but does he? What? Ew. You're playing, you're playing nah, with he's niggas but he literally is, though. Yo. This Yo, gross. what is wrong with you, P. Diddy? Yo, P. I, ain't, I can't even listen. Hey, are we canceling him? Are we canceling his music? I'm done. We Yeah, we might have to. Yo, I kind of want to ask you guys, though. Like, are you guys, are you, oh, no, 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 no. I got to ask you guys, right? Because I heard something the other day, and I'm like, mm, you're not wrong, brother. All right, you guys, you guys agree that we're canceling Diddy's music, which is, to me, listen, to me, it's kind of tough, because when I, when I hear, I need a girl to ride, 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 or, mm -mm, <laughs> going nowhere, the good, the good. When that starts I mean, playing, if it comes on on the shoe, yeah, frame, I might yeah, let it rock. Yeah, I'll bump it. I'll bump I might it. Let it rock. You know, but is. someone said MJ's canceled, and I'm not listening to any of his music because of the whole like child molestation shit. Uh, listen, man, there's no proof. Okay, hear me out. Right, I'm with you because they're like, oh, if we cancel R. Kelly, for, first of all, there's a few R. Kelly songs I'm still gonna bump. I don't care what any of y'all tell me. Step, step, side, always. Come on. Got to. And I don't care, bro. It might have said some crazy shit in there, but what the key do? Ignition. But and, and hotel? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come you gotta, on. You gotta, those got to run. Those got to run. Trapped in the closet? That's over with, though. I'm not. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, I'm nah, not. Nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. My mind is telling me I'm not playing that. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, you were nah. a different beast than that in those tracks. Fast. Right? People are. And you know me with this guy right here. People are trying to cancel Trey because Trey's also in like some hoopla. I'm not canceling Trey. Okay? Slow motion. Yo, great song. Come on. He's right? got a couple of bangers. I'm not canceling MJ. I don't care. Yeah, like no. you said, nothing. <laughs> he was he was exonerated. You know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't. Motherfuckers was like, yo, if we out here canceling XYZ, we got to cancel MJ too. First of all. He, he said, oh, because homeboy, homeboy had a baby over the balcony. I ain't going to lie, MJ, that was kind of crazy. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. That was kind of crazy. That was wild. I'm not canceling your music, though. But yeah, word. All right? I'm not canceling <laughs> Yo, your music. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. You know... When Pretty Young Thing starts playing, I'm I'm moving my Badusi. Yeah. <laughs> my Badusi? <laughs> I'm moving my Badusi, you yeah? Yo, first of all, yo. Yeah, I get it. Michael Michael violated holding the kid over... That was kind of... That was wild. Hey. But, you know, the kid survived. He grew up, you know? Also, the 
fact that he turned white was kind of ill too. Right. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, word, word. You know, we all got issues. Yeah, same. We all deal. We we all deal exactly. We all deal with it differently. But yo, R. Kelly was one. He had girls trapped in the crib. He was pissing on them. He wasn't feeding them. That was insane. He did not. But he still got some great tracks. Hey man. The hits is hits. The hits is hits. The but hits is hits. Pause. You can't even. I I think you can't even compare the two between MJ and okay R Kelly. Right. I just had to make sure because I heard that and I I didn't want to disagree because you know everybody it's subjective. Everybody mm-hmm. got their views. I get it. But yo, this MJ. Yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Um, moving along. College basketball. Yes, sir. College Jeez. basketball. Right. March Madness is around the corner. I mean, it's probably in like two minutes, Yo, right? Actually, yes, sir. We should find out when Selection Sunday is. It. Somebody got no ball. Hey, on. I have what? You heard it here first, brother. Um. Yeah, figure that out with Selection Sunday. Sunday, March seventeenth. March seventeenth. I mean, it's Sunday. We're probably gonna be here anyways. Uh, what's that in the morning? Do they do that in the morning? Uh, no, nah, they usually do it at night. Cause um, you uh, still you still have to let the um. The conference tournaments finish out because remember, you win conference tournament, you get an automatic oh, bid. Oh, true, 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 true. Automatic bid. So what? We potting at night? And watch it live? We could. It starts at six p.m. I'll, I'll clear. I'll clear. I uh, say less. I'll yeah. clear. I'm with it. Um, I'm with it. If you with it. The question I have here is how we feel. Is but basically, who is your favorite? Who you think it might be running the show? Who is your dark horse? Is Diddy gonna show up? I'm sorry, my bad. I've... My. My favorites, I have, I have a, I have like three. Okay. UConn is one. one Houston thousand. is two, and yeah, and three. I freaking um, Eric loves Houston. Huh? Eric. Oh yeah, Houston's good, bro. They they play fence. Yeah. And three is um. Yo, I know, I'm I'm probably gonna get a lot of heat for this. You do not want to play Kentucky, this Kentucky team. In the tournament, they're okay. just so. I know, but listen, tough. hear me out. Hear me out. I I like them. They're hear me out, so and I got a, I got two dark horses. I got two. <laughs> Tennessee. Okay, they're, they are probably pretty good. And Baylor. Mm. And I rock with Baylor because I bang with their coach. He yo he game plans like no other. They just beat Kansas yesterday. Damn. Yo, Damn. <laughs> he had Kansas and a Fritz, bro. Yeah, they know what to do. I do think, you know, I don't, I don't see UConn losing though. No, they're just a well-oiled machine, man. Hurley's got them playing great basketball. Um, but there's the thing I love about college college basketball, bro, is just you don't, you know. never know, and. Wow. You might you might get Lehigh beating number one Duke. Exactly. You never know. Yo, Yo and it's for happening. what it's worth, I don't know if y'all have seen I think his name is like Connect or Kennick for Tennessee. Oh, I, I know what you're talking about. I think it is Connect. Yeah. Like not well, not with a T, like just Connect. Yeah. Or something like that. Yo. He's got them boys playing good ball, bro. And Tennessee, they they do what they do best, and that's rebound the basketball. And I always say, like, yo, offense sells tickets, defense wins games, rebounding wins championships, bro. And coaching. Yeah. And coaching. I always throw that coaching. The coaching, yeah, I mean. You know, cause, because he, like, had bad coaches, he's not he's not playing in the NBA right Hey, now. yo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or MLB. He, 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 I would say. He MLB. didn't get to me fast enough. That was the yeah, pro- problem. Hey, yo. Man, my fault. I think I want to run today. Uh, I'm nah, I'm room. only I'm only saying pause because you my boy. I gotta save you. Anybody else? Nah, they can get the juicy toss. What? The cut it out with that. Hey, listen, me. I'm gonna tell you straight up. Ooh, ooh, UConn ooh. is no, numero uno. All right, un. Yes, I think that's un in French. I I forgot how the French say one. Um, say un un sank. Sank is five. Yeah, d- listen, UConn is just running and in, in a different different stratosphere, right? Okay, my two. Listen, I, it, there's a few games that I'm I'm scratching my head when I watch. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Like, why why are you almost losing to this team? But 
because of history, I'm a Duke fan, so I know how this plays out. I'm going to put UNC up there. If they catch a nice little run, yeah. UNC does have the roster to, to host that, that trophy. I, I, I agree with you. They, they have the choice. roster. That's a good choice. And they got, uh, you know, especially in college, if you got, which this is why my dark horse will make sense. In college, if you have a skillful slash dominant big man, you can go pretty far. Yeah. You can go pretty far. I know a lot of times the guards do determine how the game plays out. But if you have a dominant big man, we've seen it with the Tyler Hansboroughs. We've seen it with the Greg Odens, even though they didn't, I don't think they won. No. Um, oh, my gosh. What is MJ doing? <laughs> my fault. We're watching MJ highlights, and he's going nuts right now. Um, if you have a dominant big, big man, you can go pretty far. I like your pick with Houston and Baylor. Good teams. My dark horse. Very, very up and down team. Again, same thing like UConn. If they just catch a little stride, good luck. But Purdue, because of homeboy? I don't believe in it. Sorry. I'm with you. <laughs> no, I'm okay with that because they, they have been up and down. Their coaching is also not one of the greatest. You know, their coach, if we, if we do it by tiers, you know, S, A, B, yeah, C, yeah. homeboy might be D. Yeah. Pause. I... But that, that six foot four. Yeah. And and I've just seen a few games in the last couple of weeks. It looks like he's like, all right, you know what? I'm going to have to turn up. Yeah. But that that's just my dark horse. That's just my dark the, horse. Yeah. My issue with Purdue is is whenever Zach Eady has to guard a big that can shoot, it's hard. It's hard for he him. He's jumpy. Yo, yeah, it, and and the true. thing is, the thing is, is he's so big. He's he's like slow out yeah. there, bro. So like he's that's coming out there. He's coming out there to contest. Yeah. Boop. Cement blocks. Yo, he's so slow. So I don't know. He he struggles against a big that can shoot. If it, it, any big like traditional big that's playing in the post, nah, he's got he's got it. He's got it. But once you you go like a small ball lineup, yo, he won't make it in the league. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be that tough. doesn't happen anymore. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I would uh for well like us. Uh, if he has to go against like Flipowski, yeah, Flipowski. it's over. Yeah, he he's cooking him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, Not and really. you know John Shire's like, yo, give the ball to Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Give the ball to Kyle. You're He's right. gonna cook him. Yeah. Cookie to cook, cook, cook. Yeah, yeah. He does do that. Yeah, He's like, hey, yo, find him the, the cookout. Yo, he does that. Call it the cookout. Um, what you got, E? So Eli I Porter have... Jr. D one all year. What school you would have went to if you went D one basketball? Ooh, good question. Um, there's, you're gonna hate this. I would I would have went to North Carolina. Oh, you was a hoe. No, wait a minute. Why would I hate it? Cause um, because of the colors. Oh, uh, you don't like the blue, which respected. Oh, uh, you don't like. I it? I love. I don't like that blue outside of UNC. Because okay. listen, yeah. I'm gonna tell you something right now. Yo, yo, any Dukies <laughs> that watch me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> when I was younger, I really wanted one of those powder blue checkered on the side mm-hmm. UNC shorts. Them fire, fire, to fire. But whatever. So it would that would be them just because Jordan and all their sneakers they get. I love them. So that would be one just for that's funny. Just for the clothing. My my two my two three picks are because of sneakers. That that would be them. Well, and what my number one pick is sneakers and just the program. And then um my my next one would be um, pause Louisville. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, Paint Siva. I'm sorry. I I've watched them. I love I love white and red. They remind me literally of the Cardinals. Mm-hmm. Um, I would have I would have played for them. That's wild. You yeah, right. That, yeah. Right? <laughs> right. that was crazy. That is crazy. MJ was a different breed. Bro. I see. I see the hype, bro. You can't deny that. You can't deny why but they. You know, but no, the crazy part is, you know what they would say, right? LeBron, like, mm-hmm. give me guzzlers. Oh, LeBron did that though. That's what they would say. I'm not gonna sit here and say this man's not great. Look yeah. at what he's doing. Now, nah, but the thing is, this is why look I'm, at what he's doing. This is why I try. I I'm done with the whole who's number one overall. Yeah. To me, to me, it's era slash position, man. Like it's just. I'm yeah. not. I'm not gonna sit here. Yo, I can't. No one was doing that back then. Nah. No one. Yo, and and let's get it. Huh? Huh? Like huh? who's. Huh? Like I'm not gonna see. That's, that's Kyrie though. That's Kyrie. That's but that's, that's Kyrie right. That I ain't gonna lie to you. Coming in the lane. I think it's thinking. Yo, I ain't gonna lie to you. Kyrie's not coming in the lane doing that. Hold no, up, not this not, one. Not no, like that. Yeah. Not like that. Are you? Nah. Yo, nah. Watch it. Watch it. 
No, no, no. Ready? It's coming. No, no. Pause. no. It's, I think it's after this one. No, after this one. Sorry. He's doing that, but yeah, better. Yeah, he's doing that. This he is Kyrie. doing this. No, this is Kyrie. He. Bro. No yes. way. Yes. He is, bro. That's Kyrie, oh, he, That's Kyrie he bro. He jumped. He pump fake. Brought it Baseline, down. by the way. Not not even not even top of the arc. He said baseline. Yo, nah, he's crazy. Nah, the one. They better put that move here. If I'm a little rock. <laughs> the one move he did on a larger one where he went this way. He went back this way. He said, man, oh, you he thought, bro. He went baseline. With his own joint. Come on, dog. Come on. Um, Let's see here. Batteries flashing, by the way. Oh, fuck. Okay, real quick. Let me just answer this question so I make that switch. Mm-hmm. My three, number one is UConn. I would love to play with UConn. Uh, I, I don't know what it was with UConn. Uh, you, actually, I do know what Dang. it was. But there was, there was a game. You guys remember point guard Marcus Williams? He ended up playing yes. with the Nets. Yes, super so he tough. Came out, he came out in a game against, I think it was against Georgetown. He wore the red Toro, red Swave uh, Air Jordan 21s. And Ooh, from that we, point on, I was like, like yeah. 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 <laughs> That's me. <laughs> you heard? Uh. Um, number two. Bro, you didn't, you're not seeing that help come from the three-point line, though? Come on, son. What, what three-point line? That should be pissing me off. Number, th- number two. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I, it's just because I would have loved to stay in, in my hometown, in my home area. I would have loved to play with Rutgers. Nice. Ooh. Another uh, red, black, and white school. My dad yeah. would have been so happy to hear that, bro. I, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> hey, man. Uh, def- definitely, I would have loved to stay in Rutgers. Not coming just, for me, though. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, and number three, because they're also sponsored by Jordan, dope colors. Like, whenever you pair navy blue, red, and white, it, it just hits. But Howard University, listen, bro, I definitely would have rocked with them boys. Oh, I know, Papi. You would have rocked with them. Very nice. <laughs> I would have rocked with them boys. Oh, I know. Bro, I'm I'm this oh, oh. Hey. Hey, listen. The, the roster be I know. Yeah. No! The roster be I. There's a lot of potential, brother. A lot of potential. Oh, uh, man. My three is quick. Louisville, that was like dream, number one. Number two. UConn, UConn, they always it just develop great guards. And number three, Nova, another school, oh, I forgot about Nova. another uh, school, uh, another school develop Nova. great, great guards. I might put Nova four, especially I undersized. Yeah, yeah, I think the uniform Dang. colors are tough. Playing in the Coliseum well, is wavy. What the, if I'm here at UConn and I'm like this, and I have Jalen Brunson and EJ, oh my god. Yikes! Fuck defense. I'm not playing defense. Yikes! Oh man, that would have been nice. But and nah, nah. I feel like that now. <laughs> when when I'm playing with y'all, you be like, "Yo, we got Eli, Bruh. Let that hit the paint. We going this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Son, Dang. where'd you find this? Where'd you find this? All right. Damn. Damn. Um. I really just want to touch upon this real quick. Pause. No P. Diddy. Ray, Mm -hmm. we spoke about March Madness. We answered a very, very Mm -hmm. random question. Duke and the court storming. Yes. We know what the week is. Yeah, who was that against again? What's the name Uh, I heard? uh, Wake Forest, maybe? I forgot. Right? But they beat Duke. Right? There was a court storming. And unfortunately, in the court storming, even though he ended up playing yesterday against Virginia anyways, Kyle Flapowski ended up getting hurt, rolling his ankle, or whatever the case may be, right? I'm here to bring it up to you guys because, again, another a lot of these are just hot topics, and I just, I'm just trying to pick people's brains, you know? No P. Diddy hey. again. <laughs> You're going to hear it a lot from me, guys. Hey. Um, what do we feel about the court storming, and should it be banned, yes or no? I don't think it should be banned. I feel like it's been going on forever. I mean, even since I was a kid. And I think that adds just to the greatness of the game. Um, but it's just unfortunate that, you know, the players, like, I think that happened, what, with Caitlin Clark this year? Oh, and now, yeah, Ky- and, now and now Kyle. You know, those are, like, anomalies, I feel. I feel like that doesn't really happen as much. But I will say the world is getting crazier. And sometimes these these kids that are – storming the court like they have no no rhyme or reason uh, when they get out there so they're like just like looking to do something crazy and hurt somebody real quick, why real are you quick. running you know why we can't you, you i'm i think i realized why we can't talk mj right it's the thing is we see the greatness in it 
This nigga's a defensive-minded motherfucker. So he's watching all the holes the defense is playing. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, I don't know if you realize. The running back was freaking a ha ha that. Look at it. Look how. Why? Look, look, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yo. What are you doing? You're talking, and I'm seeing homeboy's mannerism. He's pissed after every play. He's like. Because he's only seeing what the defense is not doing. Meanwhile, you and I are like, wow, this is great offensive moves. <laughs> that just goes to show you who we are, bro. I don't give a fuck. Yo. Yo, he's but not. Eli's right, though. Eli's not oh, wrong. No, he's absolutely right, but we know this. We I'm know not, this. I'm not. Like, look, the moves he's doing is insane. I'm the not saying. The question I'm just is, saying defensively. You think just, he would do this now? Yes, to a certain degree, yes. I think it'll be a little less. He's still jumping out the gym. He's he's still athletic, athletically gifted. We've seen Kobe do it. We've seen Kobe. That's in our era. Yo. But, but I, I just, with, with all the help that is given in this league and help defense, it's hard. He's, some of these buckets is easy. I get what you're saying. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not, he's great. MJ is great. I'm just saying... If I'm watching it now, I just don't understand, how, like, what are we doing? I think the only thing that would kill MJ, like, he would really have to work on it, is the three-point shooting. Yeah, that's it. Like, he would really have to work Which on it. Which I think he would have got. He probably would. I'm not, and I agree, I'm not, and I'm also not, discre- I'm just saying, bro, I'm talking about defense. I'm not talking about MJ, I'm just talking about the defense. You're talking about the defense that was played. Correct, because it's just a, it's just a bunch of, it's a bunch of grabbing. Oh, we can't grab. Oh, we can't if you guys can put him on the floor. Him. That's not defense. Yeah, we if talk guys, about this. If you guys can help me find this jacket, please let me know. I would love I to have you. some jacket. I'm like, not. oh, we can't rough him up. Why? Because you can't guard? You, you can't, can't stay guard. in front of him? Bro, MJ, that's MJ the play truth. Great D too. Pause. Yo, go play football. No P. Diddy. <laughs> oh, we wasn't able to beat him up and do what we wanted. It. What are you? What sport First are you all, playing? And all, for all intents and purposes, okay. bro. Okay. MJ, cut it out. <laughs> you, were, you were not. First of all, LeBron James. Miami Heat, hey, LeBron black. James. Mm, in your mid. Oh, it's right here. Bro. It's right here. Look, look. High flyer. Get this shit out of here. Oh, I'm going to be punching that, about. too. You, you, are not, you are not fouling LeBron James hard. LeBron James. He's going to hurt you. That's just the realness of it. Like, look how thin he is, and you would have seen LeBron. Like, come on, bro. Yeah, no, Whoa. I get it. We can't do that. We can't do that. We can't do that. Ha, ha, ha. All KD, game. KD's thin, and he's pretty, he's pretty tough. Bro. At true. moments? No, yeah, but like. Speed wise, hey, AD's boom, tough, right? Left to... No. Anyways, um, that boy is court tissue. storming. <laughs> court tissue. storming. Yeah, no, nah, I, I think, I think the court storming needs to stay. Okay. Eli Porter Jr. Three more. Okay. That, that's all you got. Uh, <laughs> that boy hot. This <laughs> he hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I, I'm, I'm hey, gonna switch it. Crazy. I'm gonna switch. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Listen, when. We, Son. Yeah, but it's Price. Price is a bomb. Price is a bomb. No one likes Price anyways. He's my handyman down yeah. the street. Like, Perugo, I don't get it. Yeah, no, he's actually the, the maintenance man in Carney High. Um, <laughs> this is... <laughs> EJ's tight that I said that. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he gives him coffee every morning. No, that's okay. I guess, like, yo, you want a triple frappe? <laughs> like, hey, court storming. This is, this is what I got for you guys about court storming. Absolutely right. Do not ban it. It's a tradition. This is what I hate about it. Not everyone should be court storming. Yeah. There is no reason Wake Forest beats number 13 Duke and wants to court storm. It's not number one. It's not number two. It's not number three. Yeah, I get what you mean. Niggas is court storming for whatever now. Yeah. Just because, oh, it's Duke University. Let's court storm. Oh, it's UConn. Let's court storm. No. No, bro. Cool. You beat. I mean, UConn is the number one team in in the country, so I get that. I probably get that. But, you know, I'm not court storming if I'm. What happened? No, I'm just looking, making sure. Oh, I'm not court storming if I'm freaking Florida State beating number 25 Virginia. Yeah. No, and I'm unranked. I get, I get what you mean. Yeah, it's I'm cool with it. Don't ban it. You're absolutely. It's part of tradition. It's been there since before we even thought. Mm-hmm. Before we were even thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not court storming every time we beat a high profile school unless it's the number one, two, or three seed. Right. That's my only issue with it. Um, that's it. That's all I really got. Yeah. For that. I like it. Cool. Uh, switch real quick. Switch it up to football, right? I, you know, yeah, you know me. I had to put this up here because I got something to say about this one. <laughs> McCall, M- McCall, right? McCall Hardman is being is rumored, rumored because he's it's not 
You know, not concrete evidence or anything. What is going on here, Jordan? Uh, <laughs> is rumored to be leaking plays in the NFL. And I think it was more, um, more specifically in the game that the Chiefs played the Jets this season. I don't know if you guys remember that game. Chiefs almost lost the game to the Jets, but ended up pulling pulling away and winning he the game. He was still with the Jets, no? Mm, At that time. No, I think he switched over to the oh, Chiefs. Oh, he was probably. already traded? Okay. Right. Because that, that's, I mean, that's the story here. Unless uh, unless I'm misinterpreting the whole story, no, but that's, that's the story, no, right? I honestly don't don't really know if so, he's on there or not. I'm only bringing this up because, again, it, it, there's no final verdict. It's not like anything is true or not. But let's say this is true, right? What do we expect the NFL to do to McCall Hardman and the Chiefs? I, I think McCall Hardman will get fined if it if it comes out being true. Okay. Um, I, I, I do think, see, like, and you want to know what's messed up is before this whole thing came out with McCall Hardman, I was actually a McCall Hardman, like, fan. Because I felt like, you know, it was it, it's it's been tough for him, you know, like you were behind Tyreek Hill in Kansas City, so it was hard for you to really like get your get your you know, your your licks in, Pauls. Then you go to the Jets, right? And you're still, you you're still you, behind homeboy. You think you're gonna be the man, but then now you're behind Garrett Wilson, Alan Lazard. They sign Xavier Gibson out of preseason. He starts becoming what you were supposed to be. So I understand you start getting tight. You like, damn, bro, I literally just left the situation, thought I was going to a better situation. But, bro, you got traded back to the Chiefs. And not only did you win, you caught the game winning Super Bowl touchdown. What are you complaining for? For, for, uh What are you complaining for? At the end of the day, you ended up winning regardless. Regardless, you won. So to sit there and actually complain about what was going on with the Jets, first of all, for all intents and purposes, bro, it's a different season Aaron Rodgers is to get get hurt. I'm not saying that they win it all, but it's a different season for them. That's just that's just the reality. And crazy part, homeboy, uh, their quarterback Wilson, right? It's Wilson, Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson. He, if you guys check the stats, he didn't play bad. He didn't play terrible. Like, regardless of the leak, if if it's true, regardless if they leaked the game yeah. plan, homeboy was like, hold my yeah, beer. bro. Like let let's keep it a buck. Played a good game. Let's yeah. keep it a buck. Yo, that Chiefs game, Zach Wilson was balling. He was. They see me balling. So like, they yo, McCall Harmon, bro, get it together, bro. Mother sucker. Um, keep it a Milwaukee book. I, I, I got a feeling where Ray is going, so I'm going to say it. <laughs> My boy needs to be fined, <laughs> and he needs to be suspended. He's got to be suspended. Yeah. Two games. I'm not going to go three. No, I'm okay. so, it, wasn't, it wasn't a big game. Two is yeah. not. Yeah, two, two is cool. It wasn't two a big cool. game. It wasn't, okay. it wasn't, you know, in the playoff game. So I'll give him two. But let me ask you guys this question, though. One question only. If you, if you guys, if that happened to you guys, would you guys not use the intel you know or not? You keep it to yourself. It depends. Like, we don't know into what extent. You know what I mean? Let's say you go to one team to another team. Like, hey, I know that they like to run this. I know they like to run that. In these situations of a third and one or third and five, they love to go to the, That's. I feel like that's different. Now, we don't know the intent of it. We don't know exactly game plan for game plan, what he gave out, which would give him a two-game suspension mm-hmm. or a fine. Now, if they gave him a fine, it was more than what he should have. Now, if you're asking what is more than what he should have, I don't know. I don't know. Play for play, did he give him, did he give him film? Did, did they give him tape? Yeah. Like, what did he give, did he give? for yeah. him to then get, hey, you need to get fined for this? Then, yeah, I think you should, you should be fined. I feel like yeah. you should. Word of mouth, cool. We say it in baseball all the time. Word of mouth, signaling, stuff like that. When you go out and you want to bang stuff and you want to go ahead and use your Apple Watch outside of the sport and you want to videotape, <laughs> Feel me? Right. Then, then, yeah, I think, yeah, you should be fined. You should go ahead and uh, get a suspension. That's my take on it. All if we're right. going to be hard on all these other players for freaking – one PSI off and friggin' all that. Bo- <laughs> hey, it's got to Tom Brady. Then we got to go ahead and keep it across board the same way. All right. So I agree. Right. Because this is my thing. My my only thing with this is, is, is this. Let's say they come out. Everything is true. 
Um, of course, there's probably going to be a fine, probably. Like, the most, the most definite thing is probably the fine. I'm not too sure about the sus suspension, but if they give him a suspension, I'll, I would also be cool with it. Just don't overboard because, you know, I, I don't think it's that crazy to give homeboy like four or six games. Nah. Like, it's not that crazy, right? But my thing is, niggas better not be just dusting this under the rug. Yeah. And, I'm, and you can call me biased for it, and that's fine. I'll take that. But if we caught heat every single time we did something, now these dudes are the New England Patriots of this era. They better start yeah, catching heat too. Yeah. All right, because I, I don't I don't think it's freaking cool that every now m mind you we did multiple gates, <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> right? But I don't think it's cool that we uh got slaughtered. We got it. slaughtered every single time. You know we did some dumb shit. Then we get McCall Hardman a uh, hard Hardman, excuse me. And just because it's the Jets or or, or because it's the Chiefs, we're just gonna like. Dust it under the rug. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my only thing with this. Because cheating is cheating regardless of what it is. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. But if you did do it, bro, that's kind of foul. And, and against the Jets, like, what's your... Now, wait, wait. Oh, hold up. My other my other side of this... Because Bill, Bill, Bill was good at this because he, Bill was trying to prevent stuff like this. If the Jets still came into that game with the same game plan, I'm blaming the Jets. Yeah. Because you know, homeboy's on that sideline now. He's probably going to know what you're going to run. You might start switching your shit, bro. But um, I feel like they did. The only reason why, because the game was close and they were scoring. Yeah. It wasn't a high scoring game. 17 13 is not. True, true, true. But if it's close and, it, well, well, and they were be able to move the ball. I think. <laughs> MJ, where are you going, brother? Um, I think it was more because around that time, the Chiefs were also having like their issues. True. Like they weren't really playing well. Um, yeah, but just, just, if, if this comes out to be true, I don't want to be like, I don't want it to be a two day thing and then we never hear it again. All right. All right. That's, that's my only thing with this. That's the only reason why I brought this up. Cause I wanted to be biased and be annoying about it. Um, Eli brought up, I mean, it's not that he brought it up cause everybody knows, but he, you know, he brought it to our attention that Caleb Williams is not at the combine. And I guess Eli wants to know what we think about this. Yeah, what we'll start with you. Um, I, my thing is like every, everyone's has done it. Uh, for you to go, hey, look at the tape, see what I've done. Um, it's 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 a lot of ego there. <laughs> um, and I get it. You you're you're pretty good. You better hope you're that good. Um, but if he would have just came out and be like, hey, I'm doing it for X, Y, and Z. Cool. I don't think it would have been a big of a deal, but the way he's going about it, making it seem like I'm going number one, I'm going to the Bears. Hey, just do what you got to do during the season and be great. Um, I For me, I didn't care that he wasn't. It was more the fact of what he had to say all combine week. It was just like, dude, at this point, just don't be there. Yeah. The questions, I'm just like, you're not. You're not so even. So wait, he's not participating, but he's still there. Yeah, he's still he's doing there. Everything else. People were like, "Why are you there if you're not? If you're not oh, participating?" Go. There was only one quarterback running because now everyone followed Sue. It was just Caleb, go home, bro. And I'm. It, this has nothing to do with like his skill. His nah, skill right, right. You know, I'm not. I don't want to take that. What he's because. He, hey, I understand what you mean. Like, go look at the tape. You've seen what I've done. But like, look at all of the quarterbacks and people that came before you. They've all have done it. Now, to you to choose, like, I get, like, you know, C.J. Stroud, he he sucked. Supposedly, he sucked at uh, the test. Yeah. Which, understandable, cool. Like, you 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 may look bad in a, in a particular, I guess, uh, setup, mm -hmm. but it shouldn't diminish, I guess, what he's saying, like, what I did during the season. I had yeah. 30 games for you to tell, hey, I'm that. Yeah. But, hey, look at C.J. Stroud. He still he still got picked up and he's still balling. Right, right, right. Why can't why can't you do the same? Yeah. I just in that and it's and his ego, his mindset, I question it. That's yeah. all. Yeah, to me, I feel like Caleb's trolling. Yeah. Um I think he's trolling. Uh I, I I agree. I don't understand why you're there. If you weren't gonna participate in any of the exercises or do anything. Now um, he he didn't even 
hey, he's like, only to the teams that I'm going to go ahead and yeah. look for, I will give them my my uh, health sheet. Yeah. I, I'll go take tests and they right. can see. But anyone else, nah, they don't get to see the injury report. They don't get to see nothing. Nada. And we'll see what happens come April, the draft night, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, That'll be the, ta- the, the telltale. Uh, I also don't care. Eli's right. A lot, a lot of people have done this before, except for one thing. Because it's just one thing. Because I didn't know he was there. He, I didn't know he wasn't participating, but just going to the combine, right? The reason why I think you probably should have done it is this: because you're so busy being a freaking troll, you're not realizing that the stigma now is that you're not going number one. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Everyone's nah. talking about JT. Yes. Everybody's talking about Drake May. Mm-hmm. And maybe you're doing this on purpose because maybe you don't want to go to the Bears, and if that's the case, all right, checkmate, brother. You're playing the nah, game. Facts. You're checkmate. playing the game well. I right? will say that. Yeah. But if this if if this was me, and the competitive aspect that I have within me, I'm not allowing anybody to think there's another quarterback better than me. I agree. So I'm going out there. Oh, oh, do I think JT is is cool? Check this. Check this out. And I start destroying the combine. Yeah. That is the only reason. Other than that, brother, I really don't care. I really don't care. Do whatever you want to do. It's your life, not mine. Um, cool. Eli, you got a question for us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shoot. So, I, this is for the past three weeks, going into like the, the Super Bowl, it's been a big, big topic. And we're just going to continue to elaborate and extend everything. So, I got a three-part question. And the reason it was brought up, because the second part of my question, I kind of already know what what Ray's going to think and say, but I'm going to say it. And here it is. It says, can a game manager change or are you a game manager and you're always going to be a game manager or are you a game changer and you're always going to be a game changer? Can you be a game changer? I mean, can you be a game manager and turn into a game changer? And have we seen one? Hmm. Yeah, that's a really good question. That's a really good question. Okay, so uh, let me let me tackle the first one. Have we seen a game manager change into a game changer or an elite quarterback? Correct. Oof. Uh, yes. I think I got two, but it depends on what light. And my two is, I think, number one, number one, Drew Brees. I think Chargers Drew Brees was more of a game manager. Once he goes to New Orleans, we're looking at an elite quarterback. Yes. Um. Now, I That's don't know what one. you can give that to because I know he had that really, really bad injury too. So. Yeah. yeah. And we, actually what's crazy is that my second quarterback also had a bad injury, but I think his switch happened before the injury. I think the second guy is Alex Smith. Yeah. I think ah, those, I like that. One. I think those are my two game manager go into a game either a league quarterback with Drew Brees or a game changer with uh, Alex Smith. Those are two really good. Ones. I think those are my two. Uh, I do think you could be a game manager and work your way into changing yourself into a game changer. Um, Ray, those two were spot on. I can't. One that I think of that comes to mind. Ben Roethlisberger. One that I feel, one that I feel was a hooper, but never made that jump to game changer. But was okay. a game manager and was a hooper. Philip Rivers. Mm, I so I thought about Philip, but I, 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 th- I, th- I think both those fit in the same category. I, f- I feel like yeah. they were at whatever level they were and either digressed or never yeah. just never took it to the next level. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we, we can also have the argument that they had to go up against. Oh, I got one. Game manager to, to game changer, Kurt Warner. So, yeah. But my thing is, Damn, I, I don't want to say. I don't think Kurt I, before St. Louis. So. Um. Because your your point was, I want to make sure I'm understanding this right. Uh, because you didn't beat someone great, does that stop you from being a game changer? Like, no. Because 
Sorry, repeat that again. Because you were like being a game changer, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does it stop you? Like, if you were a game manager, mm-hmm. does it stop you from being a game changer because you face somebody who who who's already a game changer? Like no. Josh Allen going against no, because I think Joe Burrow is a game changer, and yet I, I mean he has beat Patrick, but he hasn't won like the Super Bowl. No, I agree. But you still think he's a game changer? Yeah, Joe Burrow. Okay. Oh, he yeah, yeah, them. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like because them. I because I. I misinterpreted. No, actually, the person that I'm so sorry, the person that he lost to, we can put it up there. Matthew could be a game manager into a game changer. Yes, I yes, yes I that's agree. A good one. I agree. It's a good one. So, um, my next one, and this is where I said it gets spicy, because I did say this two weeks ago, and you said no off rip. Tom was always great from when he won his first title and then continued. Okay. Someone told me, I think his defense allowed him to then be a game manager into a game changer. Tom, from the beginning, then from the middle on, two different quarterbacks. I said I have to do homework because when I see Tom, I just think of greatness off rip. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just think complete package from, from one to ten. Now, if you're saying, if you're going to dissect me not knowing Tom Brady, him going into the combine, watching his ass run, and he's going to play for the New England Patriots, and I'm thinking, hey, this is our game changer off our first one. Can you say that in that particular time? I said, I can't, me particularly, I can't go back then and be like, because I've always seen Tom as Tom. Mm Mm-hmm. But he was like, hey, how about you go back? The defense that he had was so great. He just had to play. <laughs> and I'm saying, I know someone that's going to pick that apart. 1,000%. Mm-hmm. Mm, I'm, I'm ready. 1,000%. What, so, like, what are we what are saying? We, so the There's qu- a minute and 23 seconds on the clock. The defense is winning that game? Correct. <laughs> No, bro. My, my number so, 12 is hiking this ball, so, brother. I'm bringing it up only because he then goes, hey, Randy Moss and what's his name? Wes Welker. No. No, not Gronk. He was on the defensive end. One, a linebacker. Goes on. It was Hightower. No. Brewski. Oh, my God. Brewski. No. Vink, uh, Vinkovich. I think it was Brew. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Brew goes and says, hey, the he was talking about the difference between Tom Beatty throughout his first six and – uh." Um, damn, that was a freaking nuke. And Mahomes in his first six. And he's saying the first two chips that he won, we didn't know Tom is Tom when he won those first two. It was really the defense doing their thing, and and we got him there. Now, you're, you're, Tom, you're with Tom. That's your boy, mm-hmm. and he's saying that. He shows me the clip. Who and said this? He said it was Teddy Bruschi. Teddy? Yes. And I can sh- I can show you because then Randy Moss obviously goes right back at him. So I go how- so he shows me how can him who's played for Tom Brady for so long say that about him and talking about Mahomes. I then digress. I'm gonna have to get back to you because I'm not gonna go back and forth with you with something I don't know. So then Mahomes didn't win the Super Bowl. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna, I'm gonna go first. Because I know Ray's going to pick it apart even crazier than I am. But for me, and look, I know people could probably be like, oh, well, look at the stats. You know I'm not a stat guy, so I could care less what the stats tell me. You saw it. Hey, we're, we're having the same Derek Jeter uh, yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You we're saw li- it. We're literally having Yo, the Derek Jeter conversation. When he came in for Drew, it was immediate. It was immediate. You saw. Oh, my, that's a perfect point. Drew was, was a t- an elite quarterback. He gets injured. We put Tom in. We don't know Drew. Yo, right. he he got healthy, and they were like, and Drew, ah. And Drew lost it twice, by the way. They were like, feel ah. Bad. Feel bad for Drew. Yeah, yeah, they were like, ah. Yeah. I don't know. You might you might not get your job back. So is Aaron Rodgers not Aaron Rodgers? The one Super Bowl he wins. What? Check that defense. No, it's, it's no, st- so, no, statistically one of the so, best defenses wait, hold ever. On, hold on. I so the the thing was it was. Is we're not saying and, and also we're Teddy shut saying... the fuck up. Mm-hmm. I think Teddy's salty. Teddy for a while. I think I think Teddy's issue is I think this is what I think why Teddy came out and said that. 
Teddy's issue is he's probably salty that, yes, he's absolutely right. The, our, our defense for a lot of our Super Bowls have been a top defense. And I think he's mad that Tom always gets a spotlight and the Patriots defense never do. I think that's probably the that issue with Teddy and why he sat behind whatever camera he sat and wanted to talk shit about his quarterback. You're just salty, brother. All right? You don't, you don't hike the ball. That's why your name doesn't get put out there. All right? So take a back seat. Number 12 is going to get the spotlight. And if that's the case, they, he goes and, into Tampa with a subpar defense and beats who? Bones. So I don't want to mis, misguide you guys because I we're not going to sit here and Tom's not Tom. But he was saying, and this is, you answered, you both answered it, because I don't want to go off topic and say Aaron Rodgers is not freaking Aaron Rodgers. Mm. Off rip was Tom Brady a game changer. Yes. And that was his thing. Yes. That was his debate. Yes. He said, and this is why he brought up the video, because he said, Brew said he was, he developed into being great. Not, he wasn't great off rip. He was, though. He didn't watch Michigan, then. He was. Go watch Michigan. Who's this? Go watch Michigan. He <laughs> was. Go watch Brady in Michigan. I'm not going to go anymore. I'm just going to say that. Oh, so then I have a third part. And then on top of that, good point to EJ. If he wasn't a game manager, which I, there's maybe there's an argument where he can go against me with this, then once again, why didn't Drew get his, 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 position, back. his position back? That's it. That tells you everything right there. They still felt that they could be competitive with Tom. The argument maybe that, better. The argument that they might give me is Brock, because Brock beats Garoppolo, and that that might so, be an argument. But okay, so That's I one, have though. I have true, true. Okay, how about this? Because I think Brock went ahead and did that. Cool, but Brock is a game manager who we don't see. Well, I mean, I think he has potential Which, to be a game changer, but as of right now, he's. A game manager. Which, actually, they can't give me Brock. Because if that was Brady, Brady would have won this year. He would have. He would have won. He would have won. Brady would have won this year. He would have And actually, sure. yo, you know what's crazy? I think I have that picture. Hold up. Keep talking. So Wow, that's crazy. Because I, I didn't even hear this question before you asked me. So then my third part is, do we... I, I know last week I said there's 90% of the NFL is game managers. By the way, I'm dead serious when I say that. That, uh, well, this is 46. A 46 year old Tom Brady would have beaten Mahomes in the Super Bowl this year. I have it right here. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, but you're talking about the go to go. No, no, of me. course. I, I, I know this is already developed. I get it. But yeah, I still like, think that like year, Tom. We, I'm just saying, like, if, if Josh Allen had the 49ers, he's winning. If Josh Allen had the 49ers, he's winning. He's uh, winning. Yeah. Burrow, like, the game changers? With, without, he's a game. I think without the, the interceptions? Game, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> No. Oh, without the interceptions, yeah, probably. I'm just Joe Josh, Burrow Josh, with that. I'm just saying. Yeah, no, Joe. De- you're telling me Josh Allen with that defense and him being able to move the ball, run the ball. Like I think he presents a lot more and here nor there. Yeah. My third part is in the early 2000s. He loves pocket, pocket throws, pocket, pocket mm-hmm. passers. Mm-hmm. Is there a lot less? game managers in the 2000 compared to now are there more yeah, game changers question. in the 2000s early 2000s than there is now no in the early wait, no there was way more game managers back then than there are now i don't know about way more but there's definitely more nah bro because how, how many we, we named six right last week or seven how many did we name last week when you asked. It was, a, it was a low number. I remember it was a low number. Low it was like number, five right? or six. We, it was six. If yeah. we go early 2000s, let me let me crack this for y'all. So We're, are we going to put Drew? I put Breeze? Drew. Breeze. Drew Breeze. Uh, no, no, uh, Bledsoe. Oh. Uh, as a game changer. As a game changer. Yeah, I mean, he was elite. But no. Okay. I'm uh, going Kurt up. Warner? That's a freaking tough one. Tough uh, if one. I'm if I'm gonna go ahead, it's not it's not clear cut. It's, if it's not clear Mike, cut, uh, it's not clear cut. Mike, Mike Vick, game changer, game changer. Donovan McNabb, game changer, game changer. Um, Cole Pepper. Um, uh, I don't like him. Ah, uh, he's a game changer. Though. Or is. or did he just have Randy? I mean, he only had Randy for like two years, I think. Yeah, and so, then Randy right. went to Oakland or whatever the hell. Yeah. All right, so I'm going no. It's, it's Cole no? Pepper. No. Okay, so where are we at? We're at two. two. Barve. If Favre was still in the league, yeah. So that's three. Three. 
P and Manny. There was Pan. There was Tom. Well, I'm trying. I'm trying. To, oh, I'm, I'm yeah. trying not to name Tom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we got four so far. Four. Okay. Um. Damn, I'm trying to go through the teams. Fuck. The and Giants I'm, didn't have a good quarterback then, so don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to go through the teams. Uh, um, Bills probably didn't have anything. Uh, San Fran. Who San Fran had at the time? Jeff Garcia. Uh, probably not a game changer. Yeah. Jeff was good, but not a game nah, changer. Nah, yeah. Yeah. Should we? All right. So should have I gone like? 2000 and like 2010. You know what I mean? Well, that, 2000 and 2010. Well, that's what I'm, I'm considering. 2010. Because like I think Eli if we was, go that far, then we're going to have to put like, because Aaron Rodgers is in that. in that Because yeah, Aaron Rodgers comes yeah. in what, 06? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want, because somebody had like a. Are, are you guys throwing Eli? I'm throwing I'm throwing Ben as a as a game changer. Ben is are you guys throwing Eli? Eli is not a game changer. I think around there we start. I, I think he was. Mm. There's no way. Go look at Eli Manning's fourth quarter comebacks in the fourth quarter. Who's who's Eli Manning and who's Tom Brady? No, I and that's I, one and I two. I get that. I get I'm that. Just, you're, we're talking about game changers. If you're gonna change a game, it's got to be where late. Okay. Come back. All right. Okay fair. That. Fair. I don't good care point. what Eli Manning I'm, does. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. I'm I'm a, I'm a Patriots fan saying that that dude playoff you, no one can compete with. You yeah. Know, yeah. That yeah. Guy is that crazy. when you put when you put it that way, yes. So I'm okay. I'm okay with that. 100%. But I'm just saying because there were some games where you're like, yo, what are you doing? I, as a Giants fan, I know that during the game it's gonna look ugly. But if the game is closed towards the end, gotcha. and he has the ball last. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his name is not Tom Brady. I'm highly likely to be like Eli's gonna get it done. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I've seen it get it done every time. Yeah. Give him a minute and thirty. Eli's two minute drill. I don't know what it is. Look it up. It's gross. He gets it done. I get that his face is when he gets sacked and he he throws the ball like he's hurting, <laughs> but it's herky jerky and it works. Yeah. Okay. His runs is that's stupid. fair. That's fair. Now that Good puts point. us at six. Okay. We're not counting Phillips. We're we're like low key even. We're not gonna uh, no Andrew no. It gets pretty close. Like Andrew Luck is six. more like twenty twelve. Yeah. All right, hear me out. All right, because I had to look it up. We don't have Kurt Warner, right? We're not putting him up there. No. I'm going from two thousand to two thousand ten. Are we putting Ben? Yes. Favre. Yes. yes. It has Carson Palmer. I'm probably gonna say no. I'm no. saying no. Donovan McNabb. Yes. yes. Payton. Yes. yes. Steve McNair. Mm, nah. I like Steve, but if I'm, you know, I'm, if you... I'm, I'm okay with you guys saying no. Yeah. Uh, we're not gonna name Brady, or should we name Brady? I mean, it's only that's, fair because he played fair, in yeah. both. Okay, Brady. That's five. Drew Brees. Yes. Yes. Eli. Yes. yes. Dante Culpepper. No. 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 Philip Rivers. No. Aaron Rodgers. Yes. Uh, fuck. I have to click. That's eight so far. I have to click more. Give me a second. As as other dudes like Rich Gannon, I'm not gonna ask Mike Vick. Yes. yes. That's nine. I'm not gonna ask Chad Pennington. I'm not gonna ask Brad Johnson. I'm not. Gonna, I already said Palmer. Matt Cole Ryan. Pepper. Chad Who? Pennington. Matt Ryan. No. Matt Ryan. Nay. Mm. Nay. He's super That's borderline, tough. but I'm. I think I'm gonna say I, I'm, no. I, I know. Super he's borderline. Know. He's super borderline. Tony Romo. Hell no. Okay. Yeah, he uh, they do have Jeff Garcia. We're still going to say no with him? No. Yeah. Okay. Rich Gannon? No, I'm not, I don't think so. I do like McNair, but you guys are saying no. I'm going to let that rock. Uh, that's probably about it. Everybody so else we there's need a couple like borderline. We got about like nine. If you take away Tom, there's eight. Yeah. It's a little bit more than. And that's what I said. I would say more than what we named last week, yeah. but I don't know about a lot more. Two. Only two. But there's a lot of ifs. And there's a yeah, lot more ifs. There's, there's a, a lot, lot of, more. There's ifs. a lot of players now. If we say quarterback rooms in general, there's a lot more. Like if we're gonna name those those eight as the S tier, there's way more A tier than what we have now. Yes, yes. yes. With yeah. the McNairs, with the Gold Pe- yes. Gold Peppers, with yes. the Romos, with the Jeff Garcias, there's a lot more A tiers than what we have now. There's a huge drop off, I think, in, in from, now from S tier to probably like a. Our quarterbacks now are probably S tier. I mean, a A-tier, C you, plus. Yeah, A tier, you might put two or three, but then we're dropping a beat. The drop is great. We're yeah, dropping a beat. You're right. I agree. And I think that's where the 2000 to 2010 might win, is that A tier. So my next thing is, is being athletic, like we talked about, at the quarterback position, hurting the quarterback class. Yes. 
it's hurting them in a sense because they're not learning to be pocket passers first. Right. If you learn to pocket pass first and then you develop your athleticism to the point where you can move and run and make plays with your legs, it's fine. But when you when you think legs first, pass second, yeah. that's where it, it messes you up. And it, and 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 perfect example. His, history says so. Mm-hmm. Mike Vick. Mike Vick. Uh, Kaepernick against and, Flacco. Yeah, and like, and Vick had an arm. Patrick against Cannon hurts. But cap too. But he thought legs first. I'm going to use my legs first. Imagine if he was able to sit in the pocket. Lamar Jackson can't even get out the first Imagine time. if Lamar Jackson sat That's in the pocket. He wanted to shoot for shoot with someone who can't he can't throw it. No. You're yeah. telling me you run the ball all season. You go against Patrick Mahomes and you want to have a shootout with him? Yeah, no, wrong guy. Stupid. Wrong guy. Uh, Lamar Jackson, stupid. Actually, yeah, I, I think it's better to be a pocket slash IQ guy than than uh than skills. Because a lot of those quarterbacks that I like that you guys didn't put up there, like the McNairs, the Dante Culpeppers. No, those, right here. Those are mobile quarterbacks that I'm not saying they didn't learn to be pocket passers, but if they would have put a little bit more attention as pocket passer and used their mobility as a as an advantage, we're having a different conversation. There McNab, be a lot McNab. More, yeah. McNabb, another one. Yeah. McNabb, a lot of people forget how mobile McNabb was. Yeah, he used to move. <laughs> Giants. We, we know. know. Well, <laughs> Dude, boy, we couldn't get that boy down. For nothing. For nothing. It didn't matter. You could have a jersey on him, he would find a way. Yeah, I mean, the dudes that probably figured it out is like, because Aaron Rodgers was mobile, but Aaron Rodgers learned that. Yo. Aaron Rodgers learned to sit back in that pocket and sling that bitch. Yo, step up into the pocket. Ben Roethlisberger, for a big guy, he was a little mobile. He yeah. Could, he could scramble, but when, yes. he could, when he felt comfortable in a collapsing pocket, GGs. And then good luck getting him down. Yo, that was Ben's biggest asset. Like, he would step into the pocket with people on him, throwing it. Because he was so, he was big. He was a big, big he body. was a big QB. Um, yeah, that's what I had. That's what I had. That was today. a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, last topic of the day before we get into quick hits. We are now a week and a half, two weeks into spring training. Any takeaways? How do we feel about certain players, certain teams, especially our team? Let me have it. Man, I got nothing to say about them Yankees. Yeah, I, only, I got I only, nada. I only got, I think I got two things to say. One Yankees and then one non-Yankee. Um, Yeah, I mean, if we're going to, I don't even know if it's the Yankees fault. I don't know how big it is on snail on this $200 million contract yeah. with seven years. If if we're gonna do it, it's got to be now. And if not, yeah, I'm over. Ayo, Giants, take them. I'm over it with with Snell. Um, as far as spring training is concerned, um, I've only watched like three games. I watched the very first game that Juan Soto played. I watched the game two nights ago against the Blue Jays. And I think what what I'm just most excited about is what I've spoken to Eli about off camera is. The options that we have now within our lineup. Yes, but that scares me. Yeah, because now we're leaving it up to Boone. I know, I know that's what you're gonna say, E. Yeah. But you saw it against the Blue Jays the other night. It was DJ Lemayu walk, Juan Soto walk, Aaron Judge walk. Here comes Rizzo. Here comes Rizzo. Grand slam. And, it, and even, uh, I think the inning before that, when, uh, not the inning, right? Or the inning after that? No, I think it was the inning before and after that, Nick Walker, LeMayu gets a hit, here comes Soto. Bomb. They get scared. So, it, it, you know, like, and for me, like, I, I could say, I feel that healthy, the, the lineup is as scary as advertised. Yeah. You know what I'm I mean? You. As scary as advertised. Granted, now, I do think pitching, we got to figure it out. Like, I, I don't hate the guys that we do have, you know, like Cole, Nestor, um, Stroman, hold on. But they have to figure it out so that we stay in games. Because I think the offense will produce. Oh, There's no way yeah. the offense is not going to produce. You get what I'm saying? But we got to stay in games, which, bro. Which hurt us a lot last year. Exactly. We got to be able to stay in games. Not enough pitching. Exactly. But. I don't know if you've been watching the young guys. 
Clayton Beater. Um, uh, Jeter. Keep him up. Keep him yeah, up. Yeah, Jeter. G- I like Yo. Jeter. Uh, um, per, per, uh, Peraza, Pereira, whoever yeah. hit the bomb the other day, he looks pretty nice. Um, obviously, Aaron, Rudge, Aaron Judge part two. Yeah. yeah. The young guys look good. So, like, uh, those are those are things, like, to be hopeful about. You know what I mean? Like, God forbid anything should happen. You feel comfortable with bringing these guys up. But, like, you say all the time, it does matter about coaching. And we don't know what Aaron Boone is going to do. And that's the scariest part of it all. Like, is he going to be able to put it together with this lineup? I will tell you this. If he doesn't figure this lineup out, though, it's over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done so for It's got to be done. There's no way you bring him back again. Especially if the players did what they had to do. We harped on them. We said, hey. They did their job. You got to figure it the frick out. If if Cashman's not going to do it, if you're freaking manager Boone's not going to do it, what are we going to do about it? I know Ray was big on that. You know, players took took what we said into consideration. <laughs> and we got slimmer. We got there earlier. We put in the work. We put the time in. We seen the energy. Yeah. Um, and I like the, the at-bats, bro. Uh, yeah. yeah, man. Listen, a lot of guys. Uh, what's his name? Uh, big boy. That we got from the Marlins. Uh, Verdugo? No, no, no. Stan. Stan. Excuse Stan. Me. <laughs> Sorry. The Marlins. <laughs> Yeah, Stanton, very disciplined at the plate so far. Yo, for I appre- real. I appreci- change his stance if anybody knows that. Yeah, change his yeah, stance. I truly appreciate that. Um, Glaber, very disciplined in, in, in the batter's box. Now you were last year. You you already took that yeah, step yeah, last yeah. year. This year you took a nice little a nice little small step and is and I see it. Okay. Uh, the one person that I haven't really seen a big step, but I feel like he's just trying to like implement whatever he learned is Volpe. Uh, but it's not like Volpe's doing bad. Yeah. He's... Okay. It's not like he's doing bad. I just feel like he's just trying to make put it into play. Mm-hmm. So we just got to give him some reps. Um. Obviously, dudes, Peraza, Rizzo, Rizzo's Rizzo. I uh, just need you to stay healthy, and and you look good when you're healthy. Yo, and and to me, I think he's the biggest key. And his bat path, oh, looks a little different this year. I like it's a little his, cleaner. Yeah, Yo. his bat path is. A yeah, little... I was gonna say, have y'all peeped that? I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I think it looks a lot cleaner this year. It's not that big loop. Not so, that big loop, yeah. Yeah, he's not really. So, out so there to me, like that, that those are those are things that I saw. Like I like the at bats. I like the discipline at the plate. Um, guys that I think I want to see more out of, DJ. He's big, man. If he, we, you said it, and I know Boone said it. If he can be at the one and really yeah. do his thing, like we've seen him do, he gets scary. Yeah, I also think another big play is Verdugo. Yo, I I like I knew he was good for the Red Sox, but I didn't know like how good he was. He's clutch. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. big hits. And he's like clutch. everywhere. And I he didn't know he had. Anywhere. I didn't know he had that much power. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought he was more of like a contact hitter. He could, he, yeah, he put the it. ball anywhere. Yeah, he can. But he, he he's like a rise. A rise. A lot of people don't know a rise got power. A rise don't care for that. A rise wants to bat almost four hundred a year. Yeah, you know which is tough. But a rise, if a rise, if a rise really wanted to jeopardize his uh his average, a rise could give you thirty. Mm. Um, I mean, we already broke down the Yankees, and uh, everyone in the Yankees. Uh, well, I'm just gonna piggyback the pitching. I think it's mostly the bullpen. The bullpen doesn't is looking a little shaky. Yeah, they probably just uh, either they need to lock in, maybe get more reps in. I don't know what it is, but the bullpen looks a little shaky. Starting pitchers, I don't really have too much on them because they're only yeah. allowing them two innings. Um, a lot of stuff that I do see in those two innings, I like. Like I like how Rodon is attacking some of the hitters. Um, uh, same as what's his name? Same as Cole. I can't really get into Cole. I, Cole. Has won a grace period with me. Yeah. Um, Nestor and Stroman. It's a year by year basis. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I I'm definitely in a year by year basis with Cole. Cause don't let that boy average another home run per game type One. of year. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, but the other thing is I also like Cole because we can probably agree Cole's attitude is one of his disadvantages. Cole allows things to get to his head and he looks pretty. Pretty smooth out there. Like yeah. he's not a, really allowing things to bother him. Like yeah, that. we'll see during the season. Right, he's a hothead. Around the league, uh, there's only one thing I got. It might be too early. It definitely might be too early. I do not in the two games or one game or how I know I know it's not three games. I think he only pitched one or two. Besides his fork ball, I do not see what special was with Yamamoto. 
that's all I got. His fork ball is crazy. I, he, a lot of batters look dumb out there. Besides that, mm. I don't know. We're going to see. That slider looks filled. When it when it's on, it's filthy. The, well, it, uh, yes, but the thing with the slider, it's very chasey. Yeah, like he's throwing it to chase you. Yeah. And if if we if not just we if hitters are just disciplined and maybe analyze that, they could probably stay away from it and win the battle. But it does have some movement. But he definitely throws it to chase you, to I have agree. you chase. Uh, but it's just that fork ball. That fork ball, bro. Does stupid stuff. That that I see why. Like I get the whole fork ball thing, but you can't win a whole season with one pitch. Especially if you're, if you're a starting pitcher. So that's all I got. That's really all I got. Everybody else is uh, is okay. Uh, um, nah. Oh, uh, Vlad. Vlad looks a little a little slimmer. Mm-hmm. But Vlad did that two years ago I, and really didn't. Do I'll that. tell you what. If this guy stays healthy, just give him the Cy Young right now. Tyler Glasnow. No, but he's always like that. Nah, bro. He's always it, nah, brother. Once we get to July and August, and then he has like a little elbow situation, uh, it's, it's game over for him. But bro, did y'all? Right. I think First it was all, yesterday. Why is his name Snick Snitker? You saw that? Oh uh, yeah, I'm, it's a weird last. Name. I love I love Glasnow. I'm mad he went to the Dodgers. Yo, I love him too. It's just I, I just know what he's about. He looks filthy. This last name right here, he Snitker. Just, I like, yeah, that's yo. gross. He's got to stay healthy. Yeah, he's he I bro. For me, the flow of the hair and everything, bro, for me, it's cute. I, I love him. It's cute. It's just when it comes to certain guys, when it comes about making it and we're talking about championships and playoffs, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just a different level. And hopefully, I mean, hopefully not, but for his sake, hopefully he can stay healthy for a whole season and produce. That's all I got. Uh, That's all I got. Everybody else around the league, like there are a few things that I've noticed or I'm I'm paying attention to, but it's it's not that bad where I want to harp on it, and it's not that good where I want to like give it flowers. I'm yeah. just gonna wait for the season to really see how people's. Oh, except for one person, uh, Sandy Alcantara might have a bounce back season. He's looking really good so far. Uh, but last year we all know it's because of injuries, and he tried yeah. to fight through it like a yeah. dumbass. No offense. Uh, Take your time, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you get healthy. All right, quick hits. Before I get into, I only have two quick hits. Do you guys have any quick hits? Nah, no. Nah. I only have two. Number one, T. Higgins gets franchise tagged by Cincinnati. Wow. The only reason I'm bringing this up is now, Brandon Ayuk, the ball's in your court. Sheesh. Because I did come here last week or two weeks ago saying that if T. Higgins leave, I see Ayuk going to Cincy to fill in that role. Now T. Higgins is staying in in uh, in Cincy. So what's going on? Uh, one thing that I probably named is. Minnesota? That all depends if Jay uh, Jetta leaves. No, no, no. I think he stays, but they bring in Ayuk as well. Yeah, but Jay Jetta's wants Cousins back, and they might not sign him. I, I, I did hear that. I did hear that, but. What? Yeah, I, I heard something like that. I heard something about them not. I wait, 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 that. wait. Can you repeat that? Because I heard Kurt. Jetta's wants Cousins back, Uh huh. but the Vikings might not bring him back because Cousins is going to look to get paid. Yeah. Yeah, I heard something about Cousins might. Dang. If that doesn't work out, we might see him in Washington. Yeah, back at Washington. And and I, uh, I don't like who, that. Who was it? I forgot who it was. I I saw it. I've been watching y'all, but someone on ESPN said Patriots. Mm. No, Mm-mm. no, don't, don't mm me. I don't want Kirk. <laughs> no, I think when I bang with Kirk. No, I like yeah. Kirk. I just don't. But want like him. he's a I, for me at I'm this thinking, point in time, he's a sub filler. I'm thinking long term. Yeah, exactly. I need, I need no, to... no, but I think you guys pick, you guys draft the QB. Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? I think. I don't know. At this if point. I'm Kirk Cousins, stay. Or I go to Atlanta. Uh, someone said that too. Someone if he wants to get that. paid, yeah. Someone did say Atlanta. Go get that money. Um, I mean, he's, yeah, whatever. Brandon, Brandon Ayuk, the ball's in your court. We'll see. Uh, We'll see what's up. I mean, at, beyond, like, he got to go. I don't know where he would go, but whatever. Yeah, because I mean, I'm just thinking, like, obviously, 49ers. Oh, I did see someone say Eagles. I don't know how really that's going to work out. But. Nah, he just, it's a mess over there. Yeah, because is Julio done? Is Julio out? It was only one year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's done. done. Okay, so they have Brown and what's his face? Uh, Devontae. Devontae Smith, but that's. Ayuk doesn't want to be a third wheeler. Like, he, that, no, that's he what wants he's trying to be to get one. Away. Yeah, he wants to be one. That's kind of what he's trying to get away. And he's a. Fourth wheeler, basically, in San Fran. Come to the Giants. 
I, I mean, if we get a quarterback, yeah. he can't. Hey, we get a Drake May. Brandon and I, you bring that ass this way. They're saying, you will get the ball yeah, every, every time. time. They're saying you guys want to get neighbors. Malik yeah. Neighbors from LSU, the wide receiver. Oh, see? I, I mean, we, yeah, a wide receiver. Yo, LSU is you know, like wide receiver U, so. No, that is wide receiver U. Well, recently. Yeah. There was like a few years that other, other. Cut yeah. Out. I think Alabama for a, f- a few years. For a yeah. while. For a while. Just for a few years, we 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 didn't really hold it. Not like the way LSU's holding it. LSU's been wide receiver you for Jet, nah. They got shit. Matt Jettas, Chase. Yeah. Uh, um, Ohio State too. That's another one. Yeah. Wide, another wide receiver. Garrett U. Wilson, Chris Olave. Come on, uh, Jackson Tank. Smith over. Right, Tank isn't Tank from there or no? Tank Dell is Co- it Ohio State. Collins is Co- Tank Dell. I think is from Ohio State. Collins is Michigan. I think Collins Co- is Michigan. I think Collins came from. You're Michigan. right. Yeah, they played against each other. CJ Stroud said that. Um. Get with it. Yeah. If you with it. Uh, second and last quick hit. It's just a funny quick hit. I just wanted to bring it up because it made no sense to me. Carolina Panthers are looking to raise their season tickets by 4%. Yeah. I don't know. They must see something we don't. Uh, hey. Before- a, lot, a lot of good football to watch, baby. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me raise the, the ticket prices on this amazing football team we have here in Carolina. I think you guys have bigger fish to fry than raising the tickets 4%, Carolina. I'm just saying. But hey, I don't run the analytics department. I don't run the the yeah, I don't run the money and, and all that over there. So you guys you guys can figure that one out. But that is all I have. I don't have anything else for you guys. Going once. Once why? Going um, twice. Um I got yeah. Nathan's Nathan's hot Nathan, dogs. Nathan. All right, gang, listen. Gang. As I said before, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, so then you can take the title of Puthi off your license. Facts. And we'll, we will catch you guys next time. We love you guys. Peace. Peace.